Welcome to the Monster Cat Talk podcast, everybody. I'm I'm the Red Oak director, aka John, and with me is my co-host and creator of the graphics, as always, Ethan E. Hey, welcome back. And we got a special guest this episode, as we always do. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Pete from that MC Reviews channel, that one that has like a third of the subs of this one. <laughs> hey. ch- check us out, that'd be cool. Just the number, Technically, man. this is going on Ethan's channel oh. first, and he has less Ooh. subscribers than you do. You have so. double my subs. Yeah. yeah. Actually, almost I'm, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to bring over my curse of bad episode, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's, God. That's happening. The bad episode curse is here. Yep. So Pete uh, does EP reviews over on the MC Reviews channel. He's by the time this is going up, the first song off of the Victory EP by uh, San Holo should be up. So which is Victory out. itself? Yeah, it's funny that I have you on because uh, this is going up the day after I do my first uh, review mm. review of Monster Cat One launch week. So that should be fun. Did you did you do the whole thing in one video? Yeah, I album? think I think I've got. Oh, I think wow. I've, How long is it gonna be? It's actually like forty-five minutes. It's oh not as long as I thought it was gonna be. But I'm shorting. I'm. I've got a plan for the for the future. So I've 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 come up with the perfect solution. But anyway, so Sound like uh, you're a villain with a monster oh, yeah. plan or, to take down the MC Reviews channel. What are you gonna do when you channel? get to like? songs with 30 or uh albums with 30 songs you just all right gonna... so yeah, exactly. the way i'm the way i'm gonna do this i guess i might as well announce this here so yeah. since since there's albums with 15 and then 20 and then 30 what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have three tracks per so it ends up being like a 15 or 20 minute video and it works kind of evenly with those albums so okay yeah, if it's anything like the old ep reviews because the one i did just before this one was uh, oh the yeah this one which was three tracks which is why i bring this up that would, hmm. if you talk about it in the same like length that I do, that'll probably end up being like half an hour. I will never know how you got a half hour out of those three songs. <laughs> oh man! Because I just bitched about them in detail. That's how <laughs> I'd put it. I in depth bitched about them. <laughs> in depth bitched about. It. It's not good though. Don't listen to the Limitless EP. Oh, uh, uh, I, me and Mika still have to review all three of those. Yeah. Oh yikes. I just saw Mika's review of Limitless the other day, and uh, he echoed pretty much everything that I said. <laughs> and yeah. the way I put it, that songs, that the songs being as long as they are, he also used the word unforgivable, which is very true. Oh it's like, God. you have no reason to do this, they have no reason to be this long. And that EP was like actually the reason that I've made my EP reviews be random order of EPs now, mm-hmm. instead of just chronological, because the reason it took me so long to make that video was because I, it was just such a pain. It was <laughs> just such a it. slow it had so many pain bad things to say about you, son. Yeah, exa- and it was pretty much echoing a lot of the same stuff every time. Yeah. I'm like, I've already said this about the last all, one. All three of the songs and, are so similar. Like. Yeah, <laughs> and because the way that we do them on the channel is we go through them part by part, right. and they're like seven minutes long. It <laughs> takes forever to get through one song as well. So after I'd finished reviewing a couple, I was like, I actually just stopped for like a month and a half (laughs) just because it was so painful. And I finally got that one out and I'm like, you know what? This has just been a slow, painful grind because after that would have been Christian the Lion, (laughs) which would have not been much more (laughs) fun. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just get this out of the way. You do like super cool, right? Yes. Okay. That's that's the only good one. That's that's the needle in the haystack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, the, it's like I don't even want to imagine. <laughs> I don't even want to imagine Mika going through that because doesn't he hate Indie Dance? Oh no, he loves that song as well. Oh okay, oh, okay. Oh, I'm thinking of Xavier. Song as well. I I don't I don't know anyone who dislikes that song. But it somebody was so in funny my comment I... section was like, "This song's either number one or number five for everyone. It's number <laughs> five for me." I wanted to comment. I'm pretty sure it's only <laughs> this is <laughs> only number one. <laughs> yeah. But I, I remember, I remember how I found out about that song originally, as I was on like the Monster Cat, you know, all the old songs, new layout. Oh, songs yeah, yeah, yeah. Channels. I was on the EP songs, new layout, I think <clears> it was, <throat> and I saw that was uh, one of the recent ones. It was, um, it was super cool, and I mm-hmm. listened to that. I was like, oh my god, yeah. this is from like what, like three or four? This sounds awesome. I should go and listen to the rest of oh. the EP. Oh. Oh. What a mistake. There is your mistake. They had it on <laughs> they had it on the official podcast like two weeks ago as well. Yeah, that yeah. was I was like, what? Yeah. 
They and, never fe like, feature a strong arm, like, huh? Yeah, I know that. Uh, I know that they were doing like the Monster Cat throwback. The throwback this week is a new game by Nitro Fun or something like. That's not a throwback. That's not for that. Yeah. Long ago. yeah. Super cool. I know. Throwback. I know. Right. I'd say the cutoff for throwbacks at this stage, in my opinion, would be like twelve songs from twelve. Oh yeah. wow! Like you can, because I remember the first time I heard. Um, no One by Project 46. Great song, by the way. As far as Project 46 goes, that's one of their better ones. The first time I heard that was a throwback. And considering I'm a pretty avid Monster Cat fan, and back then I had never heard that song that was from 12, I'd consider that a throwback. Because I always yeah. like to think of the throwback as people will remember these songs like, oh yeah, I remember that one, but it's also a good chance for people who don't know old Monster Cat. Right. To hear some of the older stuff as well mm. so yeah. if it was something i'd i'd still been a fan for like a year or two and i hadn't heard that before so but if it gets much later than that like 14 15 16 that's like that was a couple of years ago that's yeah. a bit that's a bit too recent so i'd say if it was my choice 12 would be the cutoff that's, no, good that's cut off. a long time ago <laughs> i mean what is the throwback yeah i mean you should have I don't know if you watched the podcast this week. The throwbacks were like pretty recent. I want to say. Well, like, that's because it was the Darlington yeah. and uh, and I it was like yeah. best of twenty sixteen. They had basically, songs like I, I still need to listen to that. Oh, oh man! Oh, There's you have some it? good ones in there. Ooh. I mean, it was funny because I remember when we this. Did you guys listen to the um to the artist choice? Not the artist. The uh, staff, staff fix, fix one. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I remember I listened to that and I was like, where's Darlington? What's Darlington? <laughs> I know. It's What's actually what he opened the podcast and with. Yeah, I think, yeah and I was so disappointed because there was none and this was like the best way to yeah, respond yeah. to that. And I'm looking forward He's to it. He's got like 15 it. staff picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 15 Darlington picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was cool though, like for each one he would say like his history with the artist. Yeah, yeah. that was so nice. That was, that was cool. You know, obviously alone is going to be on there, but other than oh, that, of oh, course. Oh. <laughs> I just the popularity of that song just means it won't go away. You can't yeah. escape it. It's especially everywhere. the music it's video. All... At least yeah. flight, I thought was good, but overrated. This one's just like okay, but overrated to me. Oh, so. yeah. Way yeah, overrated. Totally. It's funny because yeah. Mika Mika really likes that song, and he really? still thinks it's pretty good. But I mean, after, I can see after how it. popular it is, he's just like oh. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I think we all are. I think we're all sick of hearing about it alone. Yep. The only person yeah. who wants to hear about it is Darlington because he knows. He knows. That's the money maker. <laughs> it's raking in the cash yeah. money. <laughs> hey, if if one song can make enough to have like cool stuff and allow them to small so, like sign smaller guys like Kuro and Soup Andreas yeah, and guys yeah, like definitely. that, take take chances. I'm okay with it. It's like the whole Netflix yeah. thing with the. <laughs> Like the shitty Adam Sandler films that they'd been having. If that <laughs> that allows them to fund stuff like Narcos and Luke Cage, and it's okay. Yeah, but um, the thing with Alone is I don't mind the fact that it's popular. What I do mind is the fact that it's now the most popular song yeah. on Monster Cat. Yeah. That's like not yeah. even slightly deserved. I mean, yeah, to be I fair, a lot of the like... t popular ones. I don't think Flight deserves it. To be honest, I don't no. think Razor don't Sharp. Think I don't think does. does. Yeah, I think Surface does. I think yeah. of all the mm. popular ones, Surface what? Surface is probably one of the ones that deserves it. The surface, most. I, I would say, how much does To The Stars have? Is that like oh, really high? It's kind of out there, I think. That I know you disagree is, with me on that one, but I... That song I like is it. like generic YouTuber intro, in my yeah. opinion. I, That's what that song uh, is to me. Yeah, but bad I like too. You know how much I like that one. Um, I don't know. Cheat Codes has a lot, I know. I like yeah, Cheat Codes. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good yes. one. Yeah. Look, it's from Seventeen, so I like it. Yeah. Self-destruct has a lot. Oh, cool. Disconnected. Oh. Disconnected. Yeah, Inside. oh yeah, Disconnected. I think Disconnected deserves yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. that's a good one. Oh, uh, speaking of Seventeen and talking about how I said I liked every song on there, I thought of one of the few I, few that I don't. You know, Inside Out? You know yeah. that one? Ooh. Have you guys seen the music video for that? <laughs> I feel like I need to bring I, this. I song. may have at some point. <laughs> oh, Lord. It is... I'm so glad it wasn't on the Monster Cat channel. Oh, why? Wow, it's just weird. That would. Have you not seen it, Sean? <gasps> no, I haven't. <gasps> oh God. Oh Lord. Oh, what have I said? What have I said? What? what have I done? <laughs> well, I, I know the the Tava one's really weird too. So. Oh, oh, no, that it's one, nothing oh like that. weird. Weird That's doesn't put weird. it into words. No. 
Uh, I think the term overtly sexual. Yeah, there's uh, gotta yeah. be a rating on that or something. I mean, yeah. So, uh, okay. so I, no I, I implore account. all the viewers: make sure your parents aren't in the room. <laughs> now watch I'm wondering, the music like, video. Now I'm wondering, John, like, you have what the most too. sexual music video? Like, I wonder what the the music video for like "Blokes" played by Ariane would be. Hey, at least <laughs> it's slightly better than all of the just at an EDM. Oh god, like Nevada. <laughs> Nevada and and the Phantom. The, the Phantom. Oh yeah. And fucking old Grabbits. What was it? Don't Gra stop. Don't, don't stop. stop yeah. yeah. They just yeah. haven't. That one seen was it. that one was kind of marginally better, just because oh, yeah. you know it actually was like from more of the tour as a whole, and it showed him like actually going around and shit. Though that right. song is horrible. I don't know if that's it's just better me, than balling. Don't stop. <laughs> yeah, it's better than balling. Marginally. Is that better saying than anything? Ballin'. Is That'd that saying much though? <laughs> is being better than Bond saying that? Much? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's kind of weird that Grabbits literally got to his absolute worst, in my opinion, mm -hmm. and then changed into what he is now. Mm -hmm. Which you know, I'm not complaining about. Like he went from Fallen and Don't Stop to then making the uh, the LP, the um, Better with Time one. Which yeah. Is like, what? Oh yeah. <clears throat> what? But that I stuff still is, say... I'm, I'm hyped for the Grabbits for the new Grabbits album. I still say that my favorite six music videos, there's six of them now, it's the top five from the countdown I did way back then, and then Breathing Me In, or the six that tell a story, so it's Breathing Me In, Synchronize, They Just Haven't Seen It, Crave, Truth, and, uh, and Short Shorts. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Short Shorts is the best really? music video on Monster Cat so Full Stop. Oh my like, no god. No one can't argue with that. Have you seen the, um, the Men and Machines one? Oh, yeah, that, that one's weird. That, that one's, one's cool like, too, that one's... Cool. That one's on the uh, <laughs> on the on the precipice of being on my top oh, my top yeah. six. Yeah, I gotta see now what else has music videos. Um, Crave is an awesome song. I've only discovered that recently. Really? How good? Crave. Yeah, yeah, Crave is great. Crave uh, and they just oh, haven't Superstar. seen it. Or two songs. Superstar, oh, Superstar that one, has a music video. That one sucks. Great. I'll be on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh great! What? Oh, look, I've never seen this. I've never seen this, oh, and really? I don't want to. No, I'm not gonna. Not I'm not gonna watch that. Don't don't watch it. Just full we're, stop. I'm not going to watch <laughs> it. We are now like almost 15 minutes in, and I haven't even gotten to anything on the yeah <laughs> on the the the, the like list, and that's fine. But, yeah, I'm, no, good, I'm, I'm, I'm good at derailing before. things. All right. I'm oh, good yeah. at <laughs> making derailing things. <laughs> so you know. That's okay. You 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 know what happened on that on that episode of our podcast where I was the host. Oh yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> this one might not be was... an hour. Apologies. Ends up being <laughs> two and a half hours long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll make yeah. sure to talk about cool maths games. Yeah. That's and a topic uh, let's on my list. dissect Ooh, my channel. Uh, I want to mention something yeah. too. Um, <laughs> what do you want to mention? Did you, did you... Cool math games. No, but it could be. <laughs> no. Alright, I'm no longer <laughs> interested. Did you did you watch the podcast or listen to it at least? Either of you? Which... Like the Darwin oh, yeah. hosted one? Oh yeah. I yeah. haven't yet. I really want to. I okay. really want to listen so... to it. Normally, because I'm on school holidays, normally what I do is I get up in the morning to listen to it, but I had to go out and go to work oh, so yeah. I all right that's to. the morning for you i forgot mm. about that so, yeah it is what time is it for you guys it's three o'clock 4 p.m for, for me Four oh, wow. it's three for me so yep. on, sh on tuesday isn't it mm -hmm. yep because it's wednesday for me wednesday, wednesday early morning <laughs> i mean oh, to be fair cons see? considering most streams tend to happen like for america at like 3 a.m for me Oh. That's oh, yeah. pretty good that I can actually still catch this one because it's 8 a.m. for me. Wow. Which is like actually, that's pretty reasonable. That's yeah. not too bad considering what a lot of it is. Oh. But... So yeah, where gonna... they put it's the best oh. considering all the fans they have in Aussie and then all the fans they have in Europe. So. Yeah. I mean, the problem is when it's when school's on, it's like virtually impossible. Because mm. I'm, well, like, yeah. or I'm like already on the train by then. But huh. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so I was going to mention one thing that Darlington points out. Um when he plays uh, the only one remix is that he's he wants to bring back hardcore in 2017 so oh. i wanted to ask you john do you think it's possible that matt duke might make a return oh man your lips to go oh what about what about neilio oh no, not neilio i didn't like neilio so <laughs> so there's two different types of hard dance 
I don't like the hard style for the most part, mm. whereas I usually like hardcore more often than not. As long as it's not like way overly happy. Right. Yeah. Which. But. It's kind of like know. that's kind of like what Mika said. I think he. It's like yeah. where <laughs> a song like uh, the remix here, where it really mm -hmm. tries to make you happy. It's like it tries yeah. too hard that it just makes you angry. <laughs> Basically. <yeah. laughs> Yellow Claw for Monster Pet 2017. Yeah. God, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. I we we the, we uh, I have a talking point in here that kind of has to do with that, but uh, well, we'll get to that when we get to it. That's kind of at the end. So, <laughs> should we uh, should we transition into talking about our four songs this week? I think we should. All right. Um, the first one by uh, the man, the myth, the legend, the man they call Dion Timmer mm -hmm. in his homeland of the Netherlands. Coming Wait, out he's with... from the Netherlands? Yeah. Laszlo Dion Timmer collab. Oh. <laughs> There's so many dark artists on Monster yeah. Hunter. Like, you'd be surprised. Yeah. And World as well. well no yeah, I was gonna Lazlo say World, La World, San Holo, Trulu. Right, really? Wow. Yeah. World and Laszlo um, brothers. That's a fun fact if no one knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's your fun fact of the week. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Easy um, done. There's some other ones too I can't think of. Yeah. Uh, that, Dion that, Custom that, was that... one as well. That makes me feel pain that there's more there's more Dutch ones than there are from my Australian home Australia. Yeah. Um, I mean there's still quite a few. There's there was I mean, even though they only made two songs, Scandal was one Favorite. Uh, was Fab Australia. Right, yeah. Throttle. Fab right was one of them. Throttle. And Throttle. And oh, I Pixel. Know. That's still Pix that's yeah, Pixel's the, pretty awesome. All the electro. But, but Did most of another, them didn't stay for that. I don't think so, unless there was one that I never knew was Australian. Uh, but anyway, I, I can look this up on the. Oh, you guys have Nervo. Wiki pages. <laughs> uh. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, okay. I mean, that does make sense why they'd be collaborating with Timmy Trumpet then. Yeah. Considering mm, Timmy point. Trumpet's Australian as well. Also, the Dutch also have TVDS Vice Tone and. Uh... Wait, really? Jesus yeah. Christ. Vice Tone? Really? Oh. And that, according yeah, to this, that. Tom Perry of Televisors. Dutch, but I don't think that's true. So I don't know. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> now that anyway. we're fully derailed, <laughs> <laughs> so lost. lost by Dion Timmer. Yeah, uh, that one's. I like it. That's. Uh, I'll start off with that. I like it more than Panic, and that probably shouldn't. Oh, be too that's not saying a lot because you, <laughs> no, you it's hate not. Panic, yeah, as much. far as I know. Yeah, it's weird because like even a lot of his dub stuff, like he did a song with Excision yeah. that I thought was pretty good, and, but. Uh, and then Panic VIP. Don't even get me started on that one. <laughs> but uh, but this one was good. This one was it's it's trap, which I wasn't expecting, but it's kind of more melodic trap. And the it it reminds me a lot of the first drop of Rare, and that it's kind of like it's not a super like bangy bangery, but Bang. it's also not like I don't, I don't know what else I'd describe that. Mika tried but. to claim that it was Future Days. No, it's not Future Days. It, it has some said no. it has some Future based sounds in there, but it's not Future based. Yeah, but definitely. There is a future base release this year or this week, but it's not that one. Mm. Oh, uh, here's. Oh, I just thought of a fun fact that made me cry and feel deep, deep pain when I saw it. There is now officially more future base songs than Glitch Hop. It's been yeah, taken over. Surprise me. It's been taken over by two. There's now 55 well, future base songs and 53 Glitch Hop ones. Wow. And most of the Glitch Hop ones are Moomba Core, probably, I'd imagine. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Most of the Glitch Hop is probably from, like, Protostar, Haywire, a couple Will of Rainy's B ones. Yeah. Bullet, yeah. What's and Pickle Nerds. Oh, yeah. Nerds had there's a couple of ones in there. Phase. Yeah. Yeah. What's with the I lack know. of electro too? Talking about genre. I know. Like that. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know what that was about. That <laughs> it's just, in my opinion, like over the course of like this past, I mean, there was a lot of good stuff. Don't get me wrong, but it was a lot of my favorite genres. Like electro is one of them, and glitch hop is one of them. I felt like yep, what I'm into Monster Cat for, there wasn't as much of it. It was more no, of the no. you know kind of more public appeal, <clears throat> widespread ones like trap and future, future base. base and all yeah. that kind Indie of dance. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of indie dance and a lot less new disco, and that's yeah. probably just because yeah. Televisor oh, is gone. Yeah, yeah well, well, new disco was Televisor. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple other new disco There was Insane songs, Like, like Insane Like, and a couple. Yeah, yeah true, uh, true. 
true. I want to say I mean, Chase It I, by World was a new disco. I'm I'd like, say I'm I'd say Run Funk, but you know, considering he was part, he's part of yeah. a Televisor. Yeah. I don't even know if that properly counts. But I don't even know if it counts mostly. anyway. But I don't know. I think Chase It was yeah. labeled new disco, but that's my one of my it's, top five. It's probably so. a new dance. I think I so. listened to it a hundred and a half times, so more than that. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it's up there, man. <laughs> I think I'm it's... not looking up how many songs are labeled new disco, and almost every single one's televisor. All right. Well, while you do that, I guess I'll talk about how I feel about Lost. Um, I don't really know what, if I like Panic more or Lost more. I have to listen to Lost, I guess, a bit more. But um, I like the melody. I like the the high pitched vocals. I um, the drop is alright. I think it. Wait, did you just say what I think you just said? What? Did you say I like the high pitched vocals? I do, man. I think it's. I think uh, they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. That's like the worst part of Dion Timmer is that they're in like every song, <laughs> and I honestly can't stand them. It's how. What? How do you feel about that kind of stuff, John? Where do you sit on this? Yeah, I feel I, like we've got. We've got, we've got two. We've got two sides of the coin here. He has muted his John, microphone. John's the decider. Excuse me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me, that's not helpful. That's not helpful. We're in the middle of a podcast here. And this is a bad episode. <laughs> bad episode. Pete, please. I'm sorry, I'm bringing the curse over. It's no. happening. This is how it works. This is painful stuff. But, uh, let's oh, just, back. uh... Oh. Yeah. oh. What's going oh. on? What? Oh. Oh, you sorry. Just left, yeah. You just left us hanging there. I literally <laughs> right, asked no, you I'm a question, so and you just oh, I'm there. sorry. All right, yeah. So it <laughs> turns out that I had to piss like an absolute madman. And I, <laughs> oh, I apologize <laughs> when these things happen. Bad I muted episode. myself. I thought you guys saw it. Yeah, bad episode. <laughs> you should have said something. <laughs> I, I I had see. To I wanted to be like more professional man. about it, but that ended up being less professional. Well, it's, so it's, it's, diffi- it's, it's difficult when you're the host yeah. and yeah. you just yeah. leave right. in the middle. That's a good point. I guess. If this, yeah, I didn't think about that part. That's All right. okay. Uh, All right. So what, well, what did you? What uh, the question was? We were just talking about. I don't know if you heard the bit where we talked about the high pitched vocals. No, nope. yeah, I just got shot that down. Ethan, he said he had the goal to say that he liked it. And I wanted to know what you thought, John. I, I don't think love them. I think they're cool. Though. I don't love them. I think it, I if this is like Dion Timmer's like kind of style, what how he's gonna do it with the vocal chops? I don't know if I like it, but I thought for this particular song, I think I thought they it worked. Just, yeah, it yeah, reminds me of like 2011, like 2012, kind of like that generic. That can be good. Uh, I don't know if it's generic, yeah. but I mean, I guess it. I've heard that stuff yeah, before. Yeah, I see it what gives you mean. Me Bad flashbacks. Yeah. To a time when I didn't I know, I guess. Even listen to electronic music, and I thought all electronic music was dubstep. Uh, we've all we had all had a time. Yeah, we've all. Yeah. I yeah, I was I was a commoner once. I was a yeah. common non EDM plebeian. I knew what was happening. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, not a fan. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I, like, I think you're the first guest that's ever used the word plebeian on our podcast. Oh, Thank you for that. oh, but. <laughs> But I was. I'm. It's okay. I was. I wasn't calling anyone. I wasn't calling anyone yeah. a peasant. I was referring to myself. So it's all good. That's okay. Yeah. Don't don't kick me off. Don't I wouldn't have taken off, offense. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely a bloody sometimes. For the vocals, so. but. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure there's worse insults than you know things that people called each other in the 1800s. Oh yeah. So uh, I think I could be doing worse. You could, but let's not. Especially considering you like these vocals. I could be saying far worse uh, things. Yeah, if I was on your yeah, podcast... You, you guys, you guys, guys want to no hear reason. a really bad one? Um, is it, is it? Uh, as long as it won't ha- cause yeah. us to actually censor this, then yeah, go for it. Bad episode. Oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Okay. Like the fifth time already. Ruined it! You ruined it. The curse is here. Anyway, I, I genuinely forget what half of this song sounds like, to be honest. What, really? Lost, or...? Yeah, Lost. Oh yeah, yeah no, this is good. This is good. Okay. There you go. Just had to... I mean, wow. I forgot, because normally, normally on my podcast, like, not my podcast, it's, I'm not going to take the credit, it's Mika's podcast. Mm-hmm. Normally what we do, or no, normally what I do when we're talking about the songs, is I just have them on loop in the background while we're speaking oh, about yeah. it. Oh yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. Because what I used to, what I used to do was take notes, but that took way too long, and 
after the episode where I hosted it, I realized how much of a waste of time it was. I realized I could just do it without it, so I just did some of the song in the background. But I mm-hmm. kind of forgot to. But here we are. Yeah, that's okay. I can't just say the best part of the D- 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 songs is just his album art. Oh, yeah, the oh, album yeah. art See. all of them, especially Panic. Panic's Panic was album so art cool. Was the, the best art. part of that song. Yeah, I can agree. You know, I like the song, but the art was. <laughs> yeah, um, I, uh. Yeah, if the more good art out there, the better. That's why I like I like Chipland's art as well. Oh yeah. But... Have you guys seen like all the single arts for the um for the closer EP where every single single like every single song off there had its own little album? No, art? I didn't. The the oh. King's Life one was my phone background for like. Oh really? Long. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but awesome I don't know. I don't remember any of the album arts before twenty. Before I guess basically before twenty six, just because I never looked at them. And yeah. now I'm going through because for my reviews, I'm like doing all the entry cards for those beforehand, just to, like I guess to keep me motivated to actually make these. Yeah. Like because you know I've already put so much work into it, but like yeah. I'm putting the. The so like the album or the single picture in the bottom right. Problem with that is that that doesn't start until like nineteen. Yeah, yeah, that's what but, I was yeah. literally just about to say. Until but some the, of those, some of those nineteen ones are pretty from. good. Yeah, yeah. I I couldn't tell you any off the top of my head, but there were some pretty good ones back there. But a lot of them were also just like that person's logo with like a background or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I must say, as much as I like a lot of Gravity's music, I'm not sure how I feel about his album. AKA, it's him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's him. Fo- in, like, every- oh, Somebody be said that Follow Me one looked like Gravity's like as a school bully or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's the, it's all on the camera angle. It's like right yeah. up at him. Yeah. I'm putting but, bets uh, down that that's what the that's what his next album. That's what oh, it absolutely will be. I think yeah. 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 I mean, he had he already had the promo picture of him like with all like a bunch of song names like yeah. written on himself. So that was cool though. That one. That was, was really, cool. really cool. Um, I almost wish that would be the album art, but I know it won't. Do we all say what we wanted to say about Lost or? Yeah, I, I felt like we haven't it. talked. I we haven't didn't even talk much about it. It's, yeah. I well, I, f- I mean, I feel well, like it's one of those songs where you're like, you know, it's it's not incredible, but it's really no. good. Yeah. Yeah, so, I think songs like that it's the hardest to talk about. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I can agree. Everything with that I would have said you guys already said in your podcast. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I I mean, I could re-bring up the point about how if I reckon if this was by a different artist, even though I think this song is like actually pretty good and it's cool to listen to, I reckon if it was by a different artist, if it was by most of any artist that I really liked, it would be disappointing. Yeah. Like forgetting the whole bit where it it's completely different from all the artist styles. <laughs> so, like in a more hypothetical situation. Yeah. Okay. If a song of this quality came out from an artist I really liked, I would have a lot less tolerance for it than I would if it was by the artist who made Panic. Like, right. That's like, just because he's so like that song new, I guess. And yeah, his yeah. First release wasn't amazing either, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just yeah. honestly, this song just kind of impresses me, just because I thought all he would do is dubstep, like yeah. that. and then his next track, he's already doing something different, which is like, all right, I, I really do, I can appreciate that. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like the VIP was hands up, which is like right. a weird mix between trance and hardcore, which hardcore, is also yeah. really cool. Hands up, like, like everyone cool thought that VIP sounded great. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm one not of the few going people that didn't like it. <laughs> well, like basically, people, oh shit! Oh my like, no, it's, <laughs> it's just a raving oh, melody. That's, <laughs> no. Well, here's the here's my thing. I really liked the melody of Panic, but I just hated the drop because it like took everything that the song had going for and just like flipped it. Yeah. And that's what the VIP basically took the melody and made that the drop, which I really liked. Yeah, that makes sense. So, and I feel like I'm. I've, and I think this will come across in my reviews, but I'm a little bit more tolerant of those like ravey melodies as long as I like yeah. them. And there's like, like so there'll be some songs that I review, and I just I can't explain why I like them. Like a lot of early house songs. For oh, example, we we all have them. those songs that we can't explain why we like. Oh yeah, that's like chase it for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can't. There's I so can't, many songs I can't wait to review. Oh yeah. Because of my opinion yeah, on them steal, has changed so much. Our format. 
Look you, you're stealing our market share. Yeah, first so, the podcast yeah. and then... <laughs> There's only so many people in our demographic, and they're stealing <laughs> yeah. all of it. Hey, it's alright, I'm safe. I do the EPs and stuff, you're not talking yeah. about that. Uh, yeah, Mika's I'm the one com- that's in trouble here. I'm coming for so, Mika. You know, yeah, I'm all good, though. Yeah, first, first he asked me, do you want to do a podcast? I'm like, alright, as long as we're not copying MC reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's that's kind of why I have things set up the way it is a little like a lot more casual, not yeah. like because I don't want to like just review every song because then we're basically saying the same thing you guys are. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, so, that's no, also I why pre- I have a I, I, different time of the week and all. So I appreciate getting to be on a more casual podcast just because okay. a lot of what we do is very formulaic, and you start at this section, you talk about the songs, you go to the next section, you go to the next section. Mm-hmm. But, I, but I feel like the, the vibe I'm getting here is if I just want to talk about something Monster Cat Hey man, Monster Cat say, talk, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. That's what this is for, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, you guys, you guys have your, like, alright, if, if I want to listen, if I want to hear somebody's opinion on why they liked My Dear by Summer Was Fun, and what they liked about it, what they didn't like about it, the structure of it, I go to you guys' podcast. If I want to hear... Yeah. Three people fucking around <laughs> talking about Varian's ghost producing <laughs> tendencies and you listen to your own podcast. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm saying a hypothetical. If I'm just saying I find it, Joe Blow. is it just me that finds it so difficult to listen back to a podcast that they were on? Yes. Just having to listen um, to the sound yes. of your own yeah. voice. Yes. After making videos for a while now, I'm so sick of the sound of my own voice. Yeah, I can't even begin to explain. it's it's weird because I have. I, like I did get that way at first when I started like making videos way back in the day. What Rome and then, the Mad God videos? Well, yeah, that. <laughs> and then now that I've done like so much stuff with my voice, since I'm like a TCF guy, so like a television yeah. major, basically, I've heard it a lot outside of YouTube too. So I've kind of, I've kind of come to terms with the fact that I have a strange voice. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't know. Are you gonna use? Are you gonna use what you said before as a segue? talk about my dear is that what um, oh yeah that actually wasn't intentional just... i was just i was gonna say up, like, but that works as a segue speaking of our next song oh well, yeah is that on that fun. note yeah <laughs> summer was fun future bass yeah. uh, we kind of had a little bit of future bassy with hold on hold but on, yeah. this time it's full future bass pretty much cookie cutter like there's no way you could interpret this as indie dance or trap accidentally i don't just... know why but the first time i heard this i thought it was drumstick don't ask me why. Really? Do Johnny, not don't... ask me why, but that's what I thought. Uh, Makes sense hearing it's future based now, but that was the yeah. first thing that came to my John's head. John's theory well, just I, I knew I'm it was in... an indie dance. Uh, well, but it is a drum step BPM, so I can at least I can Wait, forgive you it? for that. It's at 160, hey, which is like yeah, kind of the close. it's kind of like the use. lowest edge between dubstep and drum step. So yeah, that's what like killing it but cruel is. At. I know that's like an example. Yeah, and I think Bamf mm. is at that as well. Ah, okay. Bamp is pretty close, yeah. Um, let's see, Bamp is... Do, 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 do. It's We're 155, Yeah, it's 160. 160. Yeah, 160. Yeah. It's 160, so... Um, so there you go. How do we feel? Who wants he, to Alright, here's my thing. Oh. I guess I'll start again, even though I started with the last one. That's I'm okay. starting this one. Uh, you are I... Boss? I really like the melody of this song. I like what Summer was fun going for, was going for, and overall, I, I think it's a good song. But I really, really, really like this is one song I really wish you wouldn't have copy and pasted the second drop. Yeah, mm. that yeah, almost yeah. kills the entire song for me. Mm. We it doesn't talk about this song on this podcast before we actually talk about it on our own. That's yeah, weird. well, this is the weird like. Because because we recorded on Wednesday, we recorded midweek yeah, as opposed a, to you guys. That's a on weird weekend. time to record. Yeah, we we do it yeah. purposefully so that everything for the week has happened. That's I was yeah. thinking about that earlier before we recorded. That's a good idea. My don't well, it. but then okay. but then don't we're then it. we're it's basically talking. <laughs> yeah, then we're we talking about the same stuff you guys are. This way yeah. we get to talk about some stuff before you guys bit. do, yeah. and then vice yeah, versa. Yeah. So I think this is I think this is okay, honestly. Yeah. But uh. I know, yeah. I like I, I, I like that it's kind of just plopped in the middle. It's kind of like, mm-hmm. not everything's happened yet. Yeah, that we get it yet. uploaded at the end of the weekend. Or end of the week, rather. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I mean, but, even... Uh, but, the way, but the way we do it on ours, in like a week-by-week structure, sometimes means we'll go, the next week we'll have already started, and we'll record... Like So even though the next few songs, or next, like a song or two, could have already come out, we pretty much just ignore its existence. 
until the next mm. episode. That's really weird when we upload yeah. like one from like a, a few like let's say it was supposed to be on Saturday for one week and we upload it on like Tuesday because of issues and stuff like that. That's weird because like songs yeah. will have already come out and we've missed them. Mm-hmm. You guys have. It seems like you guys have the leg up on like. Well, and first, also the first two tracks of the week. Right. And also, like since we talk about the songs less than you guys do. Yeah. Like, yeah, good far, point. Like, you guys will talk about a song for 20 minutes, we'll talk about it for, like, five, five minutes. minutes <laughs> so. I, I feel like that just kind of yeah. goes for the channel, our channel in general. It's much more mm-hmm. in-depth, like, yeah. per individual song, to the point where, you know, our, our videos are becoming, our reviews are becoming a song per video. Right. That's what. That's how I like to think. I'm not copying land and remixes with my EP reviews, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta feel like I'm doing something. Oh no, that's you're different. definitely not copying them. So that's, yeah. I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah. I, I I remember I posted some of our videos on the Monster Cat Discord, and mm-hmm. they and people there. I was asking for critique, and people said maybe you should show your face instead. And I don't even have anything against that. It's just I really like designing the graphics. Uh, like yeah. I really <laughs> enjoy designing those. So even though I yeah, that's my thing. I uh, place, I just really enjoy doing the design. Well, here's my thing with with my face. Like the reason why I'm not showing my face on the face cam, and clearly I have no qualms about showing my face. Yep. But like my thing with that is there's no reason to do it. It doesn't really enhance it at all. And yeah. it kind of, it, it almost takes away from actually listening to what I'm saying and yeah, good more point. like yeah. watching what I'm saying. So. I mean, especially in your list videos, there's no point yeah. for that, considering oh, you for list videos, anything. There's, yeah, there's absolutely no point there. Yeah. I have started incorporating, like, actually, like, putting a little bit of an opinion in there, and yeah, and I, people seem to like that. I, I saw that, but, yeah, I saw that on one of your recent ones you were kind of explaining. I'm pretty sure that was on the... Uh, the Christian the Lion EP one. Yeah, that was, was the first one I, I did it that. for. Or, that was yeah. the first, like, anything other than my, like, top 100 that I did it for, so. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, basically, yeah, I'm not showing my face game <clears throat> for the review, and I understand why you don't either, because it's just, there's not really a point to do it. Like, with Landon, it's different, because he doesn't, he doesn't do graphics. He, he actually has, like, a real production values, I guess, <laughs> to his setup, so... I don't. I have the the built-in MacBook Pro <laughs> face cam. Can you hear so. that bloody dog barking in my background? No. Um. Could you hear oh, the train the going Lord. by on no, in my background? No, I couldn't hear you. Okay. Thank That's the Lord, because I swear to God, this has nothing to do with Monster Cat. But there's these people next door that have a dog that I've never seen them take out of the house. They never walk it. They never do anything with Whoa. it. All it does is bark. <laughs> oh 24 my god. 7. Alright, oh, funny story no. about that. So, uh, back at my house, uh, we have we have two dogs. One of them is a German Shepherd. And whenever we let her into the backyard, the people behind us on the other side, basically, like, their backyard is matched up with ours. They, like, rescue dogs, and so they have, like, 20 dogs out there. Oh. And, like, they'll all oh, start barking at once, and my dog will, like, start trying to rip up the fence, and it's just, like, <laughs> the most... It's, like, the biggest pain in the ass ever. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, that's, that's fun. <clears throat> I really hope this won't end up being in my audio, though. Because normally I record yeah. this. I record this at not the house I'm at right now at all. And this is the first time, and... I, the main reason I haven't is because I'm really worried about background audio. And this dog right. is already proving to be a bit of an issue. I, I haven't heard but, uh, it at all. Uh, me. <laughs> especially because the, uh, just in my backyard, the train line goes past my backyard as well. Oh so, my god, know. dude. Same, there's a, there's an Amtrak train that just runs right next to the apartment for me. I'm glad you guys oh, yeah. can't hear it. I have a train but that's just, too. I got lucky, I got lucky in my room placement because one of my roommates, like, you can it's like really loud for him. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it, I, yeah. I've, I've been living in my house for so long though that I actually kind of forget. I like never notice the bloody trains go past. The only time I notice mm-hmm. is when I'm trying to record audio to my reviews yeah. and a train comes past. And I just kind of look behind me and just give the train a bit of a death stare. <laughs> like, I have to do the hot. I have to do the whole take over again. Oh, like, no. all right, oh, hurry up, oh. go on. Yeah. <laughs> on your Move way. Along. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, on the I, I wanted to say something about Summer was fun and my dear. Uh, most of the people, both Xavier 
and Mika on on our podcast yep. really don't like Summer Wars Fun at all. Mm-hmm. And I'm yet again, I'm that guy who's like, it's not that bad. bad. <laughs> I, I, yeah. But especially Summer Wars Fun, I really like Pick Up the Phone. I really like Ooh, that yeah. song. Hold On yeah, is awesome underrated. as well. Run to You. I I actually like that song a decent yeah. amount. The only one, I the only ones I don't like is I didn't like watching. I didn't like mm. the one for twenty three and this one. This one's like okay. the only which, summer was fun song that I don't like very much. Which my other dear. one besides watching did you like? Um, this one, this my one. dear, the one that just came out. Oh what yeah. What about yeah, his remix of yours, Shirley? What's your that opinion on that one? That so one's good. somewhere in the middle. Mm. Okay. I don't love it, but it's not. It's not bad. I like yeah, his I, debut this song, quite a bit. I like to watch it. This song is just yeah. Yeah, I like watch it just because I like I really like Color Drive. I like his vocals. Yeah. 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 But that one almost sounded too much like a Luther song to me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad it's kind of branched out since then. Um, it's, so, it's so weird having a vocalist that goes under two aliases on the one label. Having Johnny Rose and Color Drive. I don't know if you guys knew. I'm sure you do. But it's oh, yeah. Color, yeah. Dri- Color Drive is... Yeah, it's no. jo- Color Drive is Johnny Rose. I had no idea. Well, there, there you go. Johnny it's pretty Rose much is... just Johnny Rose singing much more high-pitched. <laughs> Is pretty They're much a band, what it is. Right? Aren't they? I thought. No. Uh, no. No. I don't think so. Oh, I don't I'm know pretty why. Pretty sure. I thought Col- that. I'm pretty sure what Color Drive is supposed to be is just Johnny Rose singing oh. like more poppy and more indie dancey okay. kind of stuff, like mm-hmm. he did in Awake and yeah. Watching and all that kind of stuff. That's kind I of. I was yeah. thinking of. Jenny broke the window for some reason. They're a band. Oh uh, yeah, different, that's different yeah, indie, sand, yeah, indie dance. Jenny, song. Jenny, Johnny. Yeah. I understand. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny broke the window. Jo- <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Rose is good though. Yeah. Johnny Rose is really good. He's yeah, good. no, yeah, I agree. He said he had like one or two songs I didn't care for him in. Like I thought Hunted. I thought he he actually was like, oh, the worst yeah, part true. of that song. Oh, true. Hunted but, was awesome. But for every Hunted, there's a Rescue Me or and, Out um, on a Limb that is. Yes, great Out on a Limb. Oh my god. And that uh, was the I really, that was the, the vocals in Out on a Limb are good, but I didn't yeah, like that the was song the that, much. that was the first time I'd ever heard his vocals because you know Seventeen was my first album. Mm-hmm. Yes, Hands of yeah. Time is good in that one as well. Oh, Hands yeah. of Time was good. I liked him in Downhearted as well. Yes, Downhearted is like <laughs> the highlight of that EP. Most of that EP, I don't really. Like. I don't oh, like that I, very much. That's, that's controversial. Down, that's, that's I really like that EP. It's EP, funny actually. It's I funny like every song on there, but the Pink Cloud song. Because you know what Mika was saying just the other time about songs being too happy and yeah. making like they're trying so hard that it kind of makes you angry. That's one of the yeah. only times that I feel that way. Most of the that's time, how I think about like, Pink Cloud. They have a good reason, Pink Cloud's though. way Most too happy Most of the time, I just think, oh my god, Mika, you're just being edgy. You're just being an edgy <laughs> 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 But this time, I'm, this time I'm like, no. No, that one's especially That, I, that EP Cloud. had a really good reason for being happy, though. I mean, like, Yo, yeah, the whole breast point. cancer sure. thing, I mean... Wait, wait, wait. End yeah. is near is not too happy. Yeah. I gotta that take offense to so that out of place. Like, it wasn't like that a title That one is so song, out of place, though. Yeah. That yeah, yeah that, one's, that one's weird. The only thing worse than the Pink Cloud EP is the remixes. Like, yeah. Oh. That's that's what I, I mean, noticed. I mean, like, like, was... I say that, like, Pink Cloud is the worst. It's not that bad. I don't love it, but it's not terrible. Yeah, so I the remix is on me. Funny story about that. When I first like reviewed that, I had not heard most of the songs. I heard like I oh, heard yeah. the two friends and Morgan Page remixes, the Rogue remix, obviously, it's Sunday Service, the Me remix, the Topi remix, the Roscoe. It's like all the popular ones, but I hadn't heard all the ones that I ranked at the bottom. And I heard them, I was like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> yeah, Doctor the, the, the real, the real highlight, though. I don't know how to say it. It's the. I just you know the FKYA. Yes, yeah, that, that one. I want to rank the hell out of that so one. Oh, good. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. a few really good highlights in that. I really like the Chimeric remix. Of yes, Complexro. Well. I think that was good. the only there's one that liked so the more Daddy remix of Pink Cloud. Yeah, I think you might also be <laughs> the only one. Shoot, <laughs> Daddy, let me hear what this one sounds like. Uh, thanks for confirming that. <laughs> Oh, was that the one? Ah, oh, man, I don't, I don't want to like. Sing that it one's on okay. That. that one's okay. That one also has one of the, I believe, four big room sections and songs that I actually like on the entire label with the, yeah. the uh, Toby Green remix. Mm. Also, t- also Toby, I love most of everything Toby's ever done. His stuff on Monster mm-hmm. Cat, especially the two from 28, they're awesome, and his recent stuff has been great. 
Oh yeah. Danger time. It's a down I like bad laying I really hate so the Toby remix. It's. I actually oh, kind of like, like, like it. Either, I like yeah. it a lot more than. Uh, I like it more than backup for sure. Excuse me. Oh, I don't. I didn't like me? backup for whatever reason. I don't know. No it's way. Just, that one was like it was somewhere in my best of. It was somewhere. Yeah. Very I know bad it was. Language and is I, so yeah. good. That's my bad language is good. I didn't I like, like that language. one that much. Surprisingly, <gasps> that one didn't get me as much. Well. Trap breaks, man. Yeah, I know. How could you hate trap like breaks? I, should, I say yeah. is I hated faces, which is also trap breaks. Yeah. No, faces is horrible. Faces yeah. is horrible. I hate that song. I'm sorry. It's funny because that's how Candyland started with faces, and I'm like, yeah. this is horrible. Well, no, no, no. And then Candyland also touch had touch Candyland touch also. She had to get on up remix too. Oh yeah, which is oh, also cool. really bad. And, oh. Yeah. And then back when that. they were a duo, they had the Truth remix as well. Yeah, is, like, and oh, had, that's I didn't. Back. I didn't like it, but I know a lot of people did. Yeah. Yeah, backup was my number eleven. Damn. Okay. Because I love that song. But look, if you think it's a little like, if you think there's a little too little going on and it's not complex enough, I understand that. But that's what I love about the song. Well, I see. I'm the opposite. I feel like it has a lot going on as far as like sound design, and I can appreciate that. I guess just as far as actual like, ta like tangible musical stuff, it, it's good. But like, I don't know. Something about it was missing to me. I mean, it has a very distinct lack of melody. That could be a Yeah, problem. there's that. But that's what... I like that, though. I think... That's, that's I think cool. the way I think about that song is what the people that don't like Seven Minutes Dead don't like about his songs. Which is weird, because I love Seven Minutes Dead. Yeah, it's yeah. The same kind of thing. That makes a lot of sense, though. But Seven Minutes Dead is awesome. So it's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh... Um, we're, right. supposed to be we're supposed to be talking about my DIY. I was gonna say, should I Ethan, say... Yeah, should yeah, I say how I feel about it? I haven't... Yeah. Hey, go for it. Um... Uh, I'll go out on a limb. Shout out to Johnny Rose earlier. Ha! Co produced by Barry. Yeah. <laughs> God, I thought you were gonna chill with that. This is the first time all right, we're all right. 45 minutes into the recording. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Alright, so. Uh, it's my favorite of the week. I'll say that right now. Wow. Yeah, it's. Uh, mm, um, I'll yeah. say it hasn't been a great week for releases, but for wait, album wait. art, amazing week for album art. Oh yeah, yeah. Sum yeah it has Summer was fun. Really always has good it. album art. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. I just realized it's not. The I mean, week. it saying it's the favorite, like my favorite of the week, isn't saying much when there's Roller Coaster, the only one, Darren St Styles remix, and Lost. So mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm looking forward to talking about the Darren Styles remix. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. So I like it a lot. I'll be honest. Um. I don't know, there's, okay. like, it's kind of one of those, I don't know how to, like, I don't know what I like about it, but the vocals are cool. Uh, I like, I like that it's, like, like a duet, said. too. Yeah. I always like it when a song does that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think. I'm, like, listening to it right now. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I just, like, I came up with a new idea for a, uh, a what, video what, that I might do in the future. What John said, what John said is perfect. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty good, it's not too bad, but doesn't change up. Yeah, change oh yeah, the, up. I know, I don't like the copy paste second drop. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I what I was hoping good to go wouldn't be when I heard it in the yeah, podcast and then, preview and oh, what it yeah. ended up not being is what I was the same thing I was hoping for here and it's it like did it. It's just it's, enough differences uh, to make it like awesome. That's what I want every song yeah. to not that's, be. I think <laughs> that's exactly how it should be. Awesome. That's why it's like it's weird because like sometimes sometimes the copy pasting doesn't hurt for me, but sometimes it really does. Like in all three of Milano's songs, other than Traveler, like that really hurts it for me. That's yeah. why I'm not super optimistic about the future for him. But the thing, I don't know, maybe he'll be right. The thing about it is the one time I consistently accept copy paste drops is songs where the second drop is different, where there's drop one drop two and then the third drop is drop one again a lot of songs do that they have a different a middle songs, drop yeah. but then yeah that's like that's kind of a roller coaster, coaster did right roller coaster yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. those ones that those ones are or the I, songs I like, understand that the songs those like nemesis okay, yeah. which has three completely different drops <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah i'd always love that expansion. yeah that's awesome yeah peg peg bonnets really all three yeah. all three there's, of rogues trap songs do that yeah so. there's Good point. there's a yeah, but Peg One does there's, do a lot yeah, of that three drop thing because you know Emoji does that one drop, then a different drop. The VIP the same drop too. Again. 
Yeah. And, Swamp uh, thing, does that count? Do the trap and bounce drops, yeah. are they different? Yeah. Okay. And and uh, and Rocktronic does that as well. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. First drop, then a different second drop, then a good one. That song, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on how much I love it. I can't wait song. to review that one. label that it got? It breaks. You know, oh, yeah, that's one of the worst ones. Do you know how happy I am that it's an, on the Lost Tracks EP? Because it means I get to talk about it. Yeah, I would never oh, yeah. get to talk about it if it wasn't on the Lost Tracks, but it is, so yeah. I'm like, yes. Good point. I'll be honest, when I like when I went into that song, because I'd heard most of those songs separately, I was like not looking forward to it, but it's actually like actually listening to the whole thing, I actually really like it, I'll be honest. Which is weird, because I don't like the Nerds Bro Step this year. Mm. But mm. I don't know why, I like most of the songs on that EP. There's only one I don't like. What's that? Lawless. Okay, oh, that's, that's, one of, that's one of the only ones I do accept. Really? That's one of the only ones I do like. The ones I like is I like Lawless. I like Rocktronic mm -hmm. as what it costs. And I like... Of course you're gonna like okay. Frame Breeze. Yeah, of course. Of course. That was one yeah. of my first Glitch Hunt loves. Yeah, it's huh. Neuro Hop, man. You can't hate that. Yeah. When and, there's um, 20k. Ugh, I hate that song. <laughs> oh, come I, on. No, yeah. I do not like that song at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It is bad, but um. I don't, I don't, I can't, honestly can't explain why I like that one, but I do. Yeah, right. That's one of those. We don't it's, really it's like, like the... the screechiness to it. But... <laughs> that was a weird EP when none of the tracks from that EP were. On they were all from like different times. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah. Which hence the lost popular. tracks, I guess. It yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. but... What time was that from? I think it was from around fifteen. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. in between fifteen and sixteen. Cause no. It... Wait, yeah, maybe I can look at it. Because the Guilty quick. Pleasures EP was 14. Yeah, Guilty so Pleasures was, was from then. Then. Shout out to So What, that song. Is so I good. think it should have been How You Feel. It was in between 14 and 15, that's what it was. Yeah, that makes sense. That's. That, I mostly bring that up because that's two EPs in very close proximity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I think Ivory. I, re I am going to review. Oh shit, what is it? It is. Were they, I don't. They may have both. Yeah, they're both in a row actually. Like, there's no four track EPs in between the two. Wait, really? Wow. Yeah. There may not even be a single EP in general in between. Guilty Pleasures is good though. Up. Razor Sharp VIP is like a Ooh. straight up improvement of the original, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Um, I can't wait how, to rank how that you, one. How you feeling? <laughs> reminds me of um. Reminds me a little bit of Let's Be Friends in all the best ways yeah. possible. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, and <laughs> so what is just it, like I especially think... the intro the intro bit the bit before the first main drop is so unique. I've heard the intro like, bit's cool. Nothing like that before. Now it's easily my favorite. Mm. Yeah. But, there's uh, actually been <laughs> there's actually three EPs between those two, but they were all three songs or lower. There was the uh, oh, okay. There is a. Uh, Impossible Things Before Breakfast, and the uh, Shoto Rush EP, and what's the other one? Shit, I had it right in front of me. Oh, was, uh, the Blossom and Moonland uh, two track EP. There was, oh, there, yeah. there was two fractal ones in a row, around 15. There was the fractal, I think it was Cosm. Elements Inspection, or yeah, Cosm yeah, EP. That. With and then, so and then, the, uh, then the EP that was a collaborate, that was all- Oh, collab. a secret weapon, so we had oh, three. Yeah. He had they three in like weapon. three months, that's ridiculous. Wow. I mean, to be fair, two of those were two tracks. Oh, but he Good also point. had he also had Duality as a single. On <laughs> shout out as to well Duality. As that. And then, oh yeah, shout out to Duality. <laughs> and then there's also Avara <laughs> and also Atrium, which is in like a, oh, that's yeah. all in like a six month period. I, can't I know a lot of people his... were sick of Fractal then. Yeah. Right. I can't believe his first solo track was an electro one. I would have imagined his yeah. first solo track was a good Have you guys heard um, Avair by Fractal? Heard what? Avair, the song's called Avair, A-V-A-R-E, and it's hmm. basically Maybe. my, it, it's pretty much my dream. It's Fractal Glitch Hop, and it's pretty much my dream, oh. baby, and it's... Is so it, oh, if it's anything like Pavanine, I would love it. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's your thought on Pavanine? Oh, yeah. I love that song. Yes. That song's great. I didn't love like it, it at that. first, but that one's... That one's so good. Well. It is. Definitely, I reckon that probably deserved to be on 25 more than mm -hmm. Ice on. Way more than Ice on, Dude, yeah. I totally agree with you yes. on that. Yeah. So good. Uh, <laughs> you guys should give that one a listen at some point, whenever you... Whenever okay. You Definitely will. Like, the Bear by Fractal. 
because glitch hop, solo glitch hop by Fractal is not something I would have expected to see, but I've wanted for like my entire life when I found it existed. <laughs> And it couldn't have he, met my expectations more. You came out of the womb, your first words were fractal glitch off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think most children have their first words straight out of the womb. Yeah, I, I don't know if you know how children work, but I think that's yeah. a bit fast. Yeah, no, I actually don't. Uh, my first words are probably like dead air or something, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Your first words Damn, are, yeah. You my... saying that, Ethan, now has me thinking of the fucking the crack crack kid again. <laughs> Pete, have you ever seen that video? No. No way. Ethan, Ethan made a, uh, a remix of uh, Pillvorn by Hush, but with. Uh, the crack kid. It's like this. Yeah, it's this vine of this kid and the crack kid. And it's have just you like seen the original crack kid you have it before? I'll, I'll link you has it, but later. It's pretty, it's pretty great. Ugh. It's probably the, my favorite thing Ethan's ever done. Thanks, Even better so. than the Six Way. <laughs> or, or the visualizer for this podcast that looks really cool. Yeah. All right. As you watch my voice um, bounce up and down on the visualizer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, so I've got a reference to Crack Kid and a very co-produced okay, joke. That's this is a, now a complete podcast. Yeah. We can end it now. <laughs> even though there's like so much other shit we need to talk about. Yeah, let's get into the other one, I guess. Oh, man. Yep, we got... <laughs> Stone Banks, the only one no, right, remixed by later. Darren I'm Styles. Out. Have a nice day. I don't want to talk I feel like we Yeah. Have. So we... I should preface this by saying Darren Styles actually has some pretty cool stuff if you're into hardcore. Eh. Now that I've now that I've prefaced it with actual positive opinion. Bad. Bad episode. <laughs> Alright. So he switched the genre from mm. hard style to hard to like happy hardcore. So that's that's cool, I guess. It, 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 spe it speeds up 20 BPM, it gets rid of the bong bong, and basically adds a ton of right, that's That's probably the best thing it could have done, to be fair. Yeah, Let's well that's cool. That. There was one cool thing that's it did. That's cool. In, in the build up before the second drop, it changed the melody a little bit. Yeah. I like that bit. Why? Better. That's that's the thing. Why the hell did it, it didn't change the melody? It sounds like a VIP. That's what it's. That's yeah, really it what does. this sounds like. I know. Yeah, if it was a VIP, I think I'd get a lot less hate. But it's. I mean, I always, I always appreciate remixes that are actually quite faithful to the original. Because I feel oh, yeah. like, and we've talked about this on our podcast many times. I think we have it. Is, is that remixes? A lot of remixes, and especially <laughs> remix EPs, just feel like original songs with vocals pasted on top from other songs. And yeah. they don't really feel that faithful to the original at all. But I feel like this one's too much to the other side. Yeah, this yeah. Too much way to too. It, wait, it sounds Man. way too much like the original. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now that you say that, I realize that my two favorite remix contests ever were probably my two favorite because they were really faithful to the original. Hey. <laughs> what were they? Old old school and follow you. Yeah. I was gonna say old school. That's that's whenever I think of ones that are faithful to the Especially original. Arrow Chords. Arrow Chords is the perfect Ooh, example yeah. of like Nitro Funds is really faithful as well. Cause yeah, like Nitro Funds is too. in there, but like in chip tune version. Mm. Which is... Yeah. Also, I I've, I've never met anyone else except myself who really likes the different heaven one. But I really. Oh, dude, I dude, really I love like the different that. heaven one. Yeah, it's great. Right. Yeah, which it's, one that is? It's so the good. Dude. It's chip tune, but like house instead of like yeah, night, like electro or future, future bass like you generally hear it with. The best, the first oh, time I ever yeah. heard that was um was when I was first getting into the Monster Cab podcast, and it was so freaky because it had one of those awesome transitions where at the end of the song it transitions right from that remix into um into the other day by insane like and mm. it was just crazy like out of nowhere i was like <laughs> yeah i know what you're talking about actually. and now whenever i listen to that song i can't i can't listen to that song without thinking of uh the other day by insane like but, uh, i'm glad to hear that you like that remix i'm gonna i would assume oh, that mika and great. xavier probably do not like oh that remix. mika definitely thinks it's boring house so. well he doesn't like chip tune so that doesn't yeah. add anything for him yeah I don't a lot of the time because a lot of it doesn't really do anything particularly interesting. But yeah. when it actually does cool stuff with it, like like Nitro, that Fun, reminds me of like. Do. Yeah. Do you know the Champions remixes? Have you guys heard Laszlo's? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one it was like a surprise <laughs> too. Oh. I love that song. Oh yeah. You just sent Pete into a full blown swoon. It's, I love Laszlo. Wow, you, you just sound like now. you sound like you just came yeah. out of the womb again. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like that. <laughs> Dude, what would you do if Glazlo made a Glitch Hop song? Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about that for years now. He's made a lot of other, like, he's made Electro, he's made he's House, actually, he's made oh, D&B, oh, guys, Indie I'm Dance. Just, fun, fun fact, I just friend. thought of a fun fact of the day. Oh, I just thought okay. of a fun fact of the day that I thought of recently that relates to Laszlo and Glitch Hop, which is, uh, oh, okay. which is, uh, you, you, you guys, we all know Nigel Good, the creator of yes. the beautiful, beautiful, uh, Space Cadet. Yeah. Interstellar, LP. yeah. Oh he yeah, did, he, yeah. He did one before <laughs> this, uh, called Nothing Out Here, which is a very mm-hmm. similar kind of album. It's in fact it's exactly it's got exactly twelve songs just like um, just like Space Cadet did. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. one thing I wanna point out, which is not what I was planning to point out, but this is interesting as well. There is a song on there, which I don't think I need to explain how that's called, called One Minus Space. Is one of the songs. Oh shit, that's from the awesome! One really? From 2014, and then there's Space Plus One, is that's... the one from Space Cadet. When yeah, I saw that, cool. I'm like, oh, it's really cool. But yeah. the fact is, there's one called There for You Now, which is a mm-hmm. really kind of glitch hoppy, kind of mixed with Nigel Good stuff. That song was originally a collaboration with Laszlo. What? Well, that's probably I saw that's that probably. The other, when the was this? Day. When was this album released? 2014. That was probably the same time the Interstellar, the intro got co-produced by Nigel. Oh, That's probably yeah. the yeah. same time. So that, that would make sense. a lot of sense, yeah. But uh, that's my interesting fact. There was a Nigel Good and Laszlo glitch hop collaboration that existed. And the song still exists. But um, mm-hmm. it was kind of just they stopped doing it. And yeah. Nigel Good continued it. It's kind of like the thing. whole Psycho, Eric Cord Eric yeah. yeah. and yeah. Eurobus thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I, I managed to think of one. There's fun fact of the day. There you go. All right, we can't uh, avoid. Should we just get our fun facts out of the way now? Oh, I was sure. planning on doing them after we talked about roller coaster, but this is okay. So my fun fact is that at least three times have the the contest winner of the remix EPs actually differed from the ones that got the uploads. So for tonight, Flumer's remix won it, but AU5 and IYFFE got the, uh, got the upload. Yeah. And on the compilation album as well. Yeah, yeah, all three of these were compilation too. For champions, Volant won it, but the yeah, one I remember up, that. Up, uploaded. Oh, I really? remember that. Yeah, because I remember the most... seeing the Volant one one, and yeah. then the World one. I was like, what? I didn't know that. The most the controversial one, one the won, one by the way. Anyway, yes. This is like probably the Monster Cat's biggest right. mess up for an EP. Is the Rain one? Midas' oh, yeah. remix got put on the EP, the Quantum EP with Rain, and Stephen Walking's got the upload, but D Flint actually won D Flint, yeah. the contest, and Rootkits never even made it. Uh, yeah, he made but it yeah, on the D podcast, Flint, but that's it. Yeah, he did. That's about but as far. D you know what? I heard about the D Flint one, yeah. And it the the controversy is that it was kind of rigged that Stephen Walking was going to win it so that his album streak kept up, or that his would get the upload. Oh. But I don't care though, because I love that remix so much. I love yeah, the and, Stephen Walking right yeah, I, I think I like it a lot too, yeah. This is what that's what I thought they were gonna do with the alone one too, because they had announced that Marvels had won it, or how are you pronounce that? But they gave that was Slush a good of the one. upload. Wait, how the hell did And then they put Marvels on anyway, so <laughs> Yeah. So it's, it's all good, they fixed it. But even oh, still, man. these days it doesn't even matter as much anymore, considering well, yeah, cause that was, on the That was my least games. favorite of all six remixes. Which on one? The Deep Slushy or Mar- Oh, it was Marvels. going back to Rain. Oh, oh okay. for D. Def- yeah, D-flint. I didn't like that one either. Yeah, yeah. Wait, which one? The Stephen Walking or the D. Flint? D. Flint. I didn't. Oh, like D. Okay. Flint's was weird because D. Flint's had a good start to the drop, and then it became like really generic. Like, I don't want to say stereotronic because I know there. <laughs> ah, that's kind of what it sounded that like. That offends my ear. That offends my ears greatly. Yeah. That was that yeah. was one. Of, that was actually another really good EP, by the way, because there was like the Centron one. Centron that was, like, was new so disco. Good. Quantum um, had Quantum had some awesome remixes. I was looking yes. at that the other day. It had Spag Caddies is really good. The the Virtual one. Riot one is one of my yes. favorite yeah, melodic really dubstep good. songs ever. The Cutline one, I forgot about it until Ooh. the other day, but it's so good. It's got this Where awesome. I, I don't know if you guys have one? heard it, but it's got a really cool minimalistic drop. Like it like the start of the song, it all sounds like it it has it's one of those ones that's also really faithful as well. Because it's got a lot of the original melodies, like especially before the drop, but then it drops and it's like the most minimalistic and not like it expected to be thing in the world. Th- and the dilemma one is really cool as well. I don't know oh, if that's how you say it, but yeah, well that one's yeah that one's boom. The only one I that I don't think is very good 
no surprises Hellberg. is the Hellberg one. Uh, mm. I I just realized that I've ranked Cutlines number six and out of six, yeah. so I, I ranked that one last, and I actually mislabeled it as Big Room. I don't know if it's Big Room. I think about it. Triggered. <laughs> it's so yeah. good. I messed that. I messed that one up. I think I'd still probably rank it six though, just because that's really? a good, that's another really good EP. Even you really over the Hellberg. Yeah. Think I think I had Hellberg five. Oh. I either had Hellberg or Dilemma five. The original's really good too. Yeah. I I almost wish that would have gotten the upload over Rain. Even though Rain's yeah. also really God er, early Monster Cat Astronaut was so good. Mm. Yeah. I totally. could go on for days about how just, how they the, fell off. I just think the problem with Astronaut just they brought so many like every song they made there had to be a remix. Yeah. Had a remix and, and it worked for some of them, right? Yeah. And other worked for Quantum and Rain, but like I don't I'll never understand why Apollo had one. Mm. It yeah. Just didn't really lend itself well to it. I don't like to be fair, a lot of them I do like. Like I re the champions ones. Most yeah. of the champions just get to good. Yeah. the original champions. I hate the original <clears throat> champions. Really, personally. I don't hate it. Okay. But I like the. It's got, I like a, it. it's it's got a lot of good stuff like the Laszlo, Volant, World. Uh, let's not talk about Silverback. The sil oh no, yeah. sorry. The Silverback. The Silverback remix of Champions is okay. The okay. Silverback don't, remix don't... of Baseline Kicking. Oh is my god. One of the worst things. Really? You it's think so? Seriously, really bad. Yeah. I but almost I'm, ranked that I like one below it. I'm not going to be able to defend myself, but I like it. <laughs> also, the the um the main one that I really liked of all the astronaut ones was the I reckon the war one was really good. Yeah. The Zuko that was, was awesome. The Frederick was awesome. Zuko the, was the neuro no the neurofunk one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the Frederick I don't even know what genre it is, but the drop. I think it's a trap. The coolest atmospheric <laughs> thing in the web. It's really Honestly, cool, I yeah. reckon the full and Didrick was. It was okay, but I reckon it was the one that any of the other ones could have had the. Upload. It's. That's a weird one because full and Didrick are so good on themselves, but I didn't, yeah. didn't care for the remix. I, I feel like that was another one that might have gotten the upload just because it was, you know, he is a Monster Cat artist and he is a pretty well known artist because none of the other ones were by Monster Cat artists. So I feel like it's another one yeah. of those. Also, yeah. I think I've something I've just realized, which is proves everything I'm saying about there being too many Destination like remix EPs. There mm -hmm. was two on Twenty One. There was two because what? Apollo and oh, yeah, the War one too. Because I just realized the Champions oh, no. and the War one were both on twenty one. Because the World remix yeah. of Champions was on twenty one, and so oh. was the full remix oh, of. Yeah. Uh, so was the full remix of. Um, of yeah. War, which is like, I'm kind of glad they stopped doing that. I'm glad they went <laughs> to their yeah. own label. Yep. Um. I hate to break it to you guys, but we can't avoid talking about the other one forever. Yeah, I mean, alright. I already said what but... I needed to say, so I will <laughs> let you guys do it as I go to the bathroom again, because I must have drank and wait Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Pete, do you want to wait? Do you want to Do you want to stall more? I, or... <laughs> I, no, I think, I think there is something that I really want to say. Okay. That I think is like makes even though I hated the original only one, there's something that's better about the original only one. I really like how I really don't like when um I think Happy Hardcore the biggest problem with it isn't the happiness or anything. Yeah. I think it's just a little too fast. And I think the thing that makes the original only one better is I think it's the speed is paced a little better. But I think the um the Darren Styles one is too off the charts. It's too already you're going in. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's yeah, like, right. come on. And I agree with that. I, I don't have that much to say on it, but I agree that the the, the fact that it used all the same melodies and whatnot is like hmm. besides not like that the build up before the second drop. That's the only bit I think was a yeah. different in a good sense. People but, were joking. Yeah. People were jokingly calling it. I heard like nightcore. It's not pitched any different, but yeah. Yeah, but it's like yeah. I don't have that much to say unless you want me to start tearing it apart. You I can. Oh, you know what? I have I have one more thing to say. Uh, when when the the Tosoki remix of 
backup came out, people were saying it sounded too much like the original. What? Oh that's, no! Which I don't oh, understand. Come on. That is the perfect amount of being faithful to you. Oh yeah, it's, that's that's what I was gonna say. That's yeah. what I was like. This this is this is to me what a lot of people are saying. The Soki room, so I will I mean, never run. I guess it's because they used the same, he used the same sound. Back up, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back up doesn't have like, yeah, but it vocals. had that like... vocal chop, yeah. Which is, like, mm -hmm. my favorite part. It doesn't have like, I guess, lyrics or vocals in it, so unlike the only one, so yeah, it's gonna right. be more of a challenge to remix. I mean, I think to Soki nailed it, but for this, it's just yeah. it sounds yeah. like a VIP. Uh, yeah, it does. I'm not even just saying that just because Stone Bake has a lot of um. Ha like hardcore or happy hardcore is just like it just sounds it, so yeah. much like the original i don't know i don't I just, like it that much something i want to bring yeah. up with stone bank and hardcore which is like a little off topic but i still think it's quite topical enough with stone bank. am i the only one who's sick of stone bank doing the only one <laughs> <You're> the... <laughs> am i the only one <laughs> wait uh, you were cutting oh, out for me, so I You didn't cut out, but I heard you say, Am I the only one who blanked? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what I said was, Am I the only one who's sick of Stone Bank making hardcore? I guess you're A the only bit. one. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. No, uh, I I agree. I really liked his first two his first two hard dance songs. Was that uh, Stronger? S stronger and the Pressure. The Pressure yeah. awesome. Those are both good. The Pressure is amazing. Both really good. I really liked Stronger. Like, the hype at the start of 2015 when I had that on the podcast was real. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, really like that song. I think by... I, I yeah. Think the Pressure's great too, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, every other song, but like, the his remix of The Girl was okay. All Night was okay. Yeah. Uh, Who's Got Your Love was okay. The Only One was okay. Uh, what is the all right was okay. Be All Right is one of the most yes. forgettable songs. Same with All Night, yeah. too. Same with All Night. I don't know how it made yeah. it best of 2016. We could yeah. devote yeah. a whole episode to talking about that. But. Yeah. Yeah, we need more <laughs> Complextro, Bass House, Moombacore, Neurofunk, Neurofunk yeah. anything, yeah. honestly. I need, like, that Deeper Love remix and Ready, like, some more like that stuff was so <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do more DMB, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please, Stone Mike, if you're listening. I've noticed, I feel like it's a pattern now that every every second, most of the time it's every second Stone Bank song. Tends yeah, because be he's, he's got a dubstep song coming out now, like oh, a hard yeah. dubstep song too, not a, not like Eagle Eyes. So. But I mean, yeah, except, I'm excited for, for that one. Ex except for here, like, but through 2016, there was All Night and Be Alright, which was two in a row. He had Lift You Up too. Which, yeah, well, yeah. no, different. that's good. That's yeah. different. That's good. Oh, yeah. But there was there was three in a row for a while. There was never looking back. Soldier and Lift You Up was three in a row of not mm. hardcore. Yeah. But then it was Who's Got Your Love. Then it was the only yeah. one. It seems to be going in patterns of twos now that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. And so now, it's yeah. So he released a he released a tropical. I, I think it's tropical house song. And really? then now. Probably oh oh yeah, yeah yeah okay. Back to yeah. start. I feel like uh, everyone's gonna forget that song, but that song's pretty good. I reckon. So I reckon, I like it. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a little like I don't know. It's a little him. generic, but I, I like it. Yeah, it I doesn't still sound think... like Stonebake at all to me, but yeah. yeah. I still think Stonebake's peak was stuff like moving on, holding on to sound, step up, and 2014, 2015 era when right. him making hardcore yeah. was occasional and not. Like Tw hardcore. 2015. 2015 with two hard dance song or with two hardcore songs in a row, and then the Complexer masterpiece blast from the past. That no, it wasn't in a row. Yeah. It wasn't in a row. It was stronger well, than the entity, and then pressure. Oh yeah, there was oh, entity, yeah. which is also Complexer. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot that was in 2015. Yeah, that year was so good for him. Plus the monument that, EP. The monument. That's the, all of that. Dude. EP. Oh, the yeah. monument EP was like. Dude. That, that was like the last of like, in my opinion, that was the last of the golden age of stuff before <laughs> yeah, 2015 it stone bank might be like my favorite year for any artist mm. i would on, say on the, that except for the fact that's that moving on is like one of my favorite monster pet songs of all time and that's 2014 mm. so yeah. i don't know if i could quite agree with that <laughs> but yeah it definitely was a great year for for stone bank yeah. but just everything since now then it feels like of... every second song has been hardcore it's like the only one that I thought was great. The only ah. one again, Jesus Christ. I'm not even trying. I'm the not only trying. One. I promise you, this is an accident. The only Stonebank song that I thought was 
like really, really, really good from last year. It was never looking bad. And I've only mm. started to like that recently. The rest of them were all right. I really liked Lift You Up and I really liked Soldier. Yeah, Soldier kind of so good. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't so into Soldier. Lift You Up nope. was good. I wish Soldier hadn't copy pasted, but exactly. I feel like there's enough going on in the drop it's like, that I was, it's forgivable I, for me. The main bits of the drop that are just the one sound, I really don't like, but those other mm. bits where it changes it up and gets like, especially in the second half, that stuff is awesome. I just wish the rest of the song was like that. Yeah. Because half of it's just the one sound kind of ordeal. But, Fair uh. Enough. But, you know, the only one remix, hey? Huh? <laughs> That's <just> Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ethan. What is your opinion on this? I think I already said. Uh, I guess yeah. he did. All I don't right. like it. Should we move on to roller coaster? <laughs> I, 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 we I should, feel please. like I've been doing so much derailing. I'm sorry. No, like, man. I, yeah, it's okay. I feel responsible okay. for all of no, you're creating, you. You're creating impeccable content. Oh, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So roller coaster by Dirty Audio and Max Styler. We had two yeah. styles. I came with Kanda. Oh, Just yeah. want to point that out. How weird is that? But... One's a like huge in the British hardcore scene, and the other one I've never even heard yeah. of. But uh, yeah, this is kind of not what I was expecting from Dirty Audio to yeah, follow up from neither. Gorilla Glue and his remix of Ocho Cinco. Mm. But uh, I reckon, I reckon it's, it's better than I was expecting. Yeah, I reckon it's pretty good to be honest. <laughs> Damn it! You saying better than better than I was expecting now makes me want to hear insane like and throttle on the list. <laughs> oh, that's a good <laughs> it's just uh, so many words, so many words in the English dictionary. Yeah, you can't just you can't. Use don't say anything about that. dreaming or or the only sky one <laughs> or anything. Yeah, or the only one. <laughs> yeah. Don't accidentally use Tava eight three three in your everyday. Yeah, don't say don't say you. anything that involves a ghost or producing. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, you, that was you. Yeah, right? there, need, you there needs to, there needs to be more of those songs that are just numbers, so then that won't <laughs> come up in everyday. Yeah, we need eight 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 nine and twenty one twenty seven. And I think I think for you kind of counts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> for you. I love it. Half yeah. of that song is a number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Half the title. There's a lot a of. You know, there's like four songs called For You on the way. Yeah, yeah. Four oh, four yeah, we years. remember D Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you. See, I'm assuming you didn't see no, that. D Money, he did. He did For You by Rich Edwards, but every time it said For You, it was replaced with a different song that had the word You in the title. <laughs> and it was like three hours oh. long. Wow. Jesus. Added to it the music cat cancer that is. Like, oh, oh my god, yeah. But yo, on that note, shout out to For You by TVDS. Yeah, good song. I don't care what it yeah, is. Yeah, good song. Yeah, that was a good one. It is a good I just, I, I yeah, love. Solid complex trio. I love house songs that are daring enough to not just be house. Because I feel like, of all the genres I know, I'd say house and hardcore are the two genres that have other genres in them the least. Because you know, a lot of the songs, a lot of songs oh, yeah. have like a trap drop and then I'll have a dubstep drop or something like that and they kind of switch <laughs> it up. I feel like, like of all the genres- drum and bass, etc. Yeah, like exactly. That. I feel like of all the genres I know, hardcore and house are the ones that switch it up the least. And that's why mm -hmm. I always respect songs like Shake It Off by, uh, not Taylor Swift, the, uh, <laughs> the Resonate, <laughs> Resonate one. Thanks. And, and, uh, For You by TVDS for actually- Oh, forgot when I, we were like talking about good music videos earlier. I forgot about the Shake It Off one. That's another good one. Oh, man. Um, so roller coaster, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll start out every single other one. Somebody else can start this one off. Uh, uh, am I? Does, well, do other people? Yeah, we'll go have... with you, Pete. Yes. We'll go with you, Pete, because uh, right. you have a you have a you have an opinion on this one. Yeah. I have an opinion on uh, from checking Dirty Audio out on Spotify on Dirty Audio in general. In which case, I've listened mm -hmm. to a lot of his not Monster Cat stuff, and it's horrible. Oh, it's really? genuinely like tragic some of it like there was one song in particular i can't remember the name of that was tragically bad and when i heard he was coming to monster cat i was like "Ooh!" but it feel, Ooh. i feel like even with songs that i don't like that much like gorilla glue i still feel like he's raised the bar to be on monster cat and he's kind of got a certain standard and this song is an example of he's clearly not just going to do his other generic terrible stuff and from dirty audio this kind of song was the last thing as I was expecting. Especially in the build-up, when the first build-up's like the most dubstep build-up mm. in the entire goddamn world. And then it goes into like really, really future-based stuff. I'm like, oh, 
Oh, okay, that's really cool. The drop step, the double step drops in this song are terrible. Just, just gonna put that out there right now. They're, they're really, really bad. But the future base, I really like. So that's. Oh, is that dubstep? Yeah, well, I will say the first drop does sound pretty future based. The first <laughs> drop, I'm pretty sure, is future base. Yeah, and I'm pretty then... sure it's the first is future base. Second, I, I thought it was hybrid trap. Second, yeah, hybrid trap. Sure, yeah. 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 Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, I don't know. Those noises just sounded. Like that second drop is so cool. I see, dude. All right, I'm the opposite. I really like the feature base part of it. I I hated the trap part. Yeah, of it. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, I agree. I That's, agree. Yeah. Um... But something I thought of when I was talking with Luca the other day that I want, that I think is a cool, interesting little thing to think about. This song is like reverse Wi-Fi tears, because Wi-Fi tears starts oh, yeah. off with heavy, oh, dirty yeah. dubstep kind of stuff, Make and then goes the into future base in the middle, and then goes back. Yeah. This song's the opposite. Yeah. It starts off being yeah. future base and then goes into like trap dubstep kind of stuff and then goes back into future base again. I want to see if there's any more songs about. like that. Oh man, it's cool. I don't it's know cool. what it would be. I, I really like that. Oh idea. yeah, I definitely I like think the Wi-Fi Tears did it a lot better than this song does. Even the but, third uh, drop of Roller Coaster is different too, like slightly different than the first. This it's got a slight this song difference. Have, like, the song does it have? Is it three drops? Yeah, it's yeah. three drops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was. I thought it was four for some reason. Huh. Oh, dude! You know another song that does it? Minutes. Aloha by Dion Custom. That's another song. Oh. It does. It does it like this. Future <laughs> bass, and then like I guess it's still future bass, so like a lot darker. But that then, yeah, that bit in the middle, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Easily my favorite part of any Dion Custom song on the label. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Dion Custom. To be honest, oh. there was. <laughs> I know uh, someone who doesn't. <laughs> Roses, yeah. is all, Roses is awesome. Roses is I do I like Roses. I yeah. love that song. And Aloha is pretty good. Together, I don't like it. Don't like Together at all. I okay. Actually, yeah. Do yeah, Together is like just. Song it's not great. Together is probably like the best example of like really generic future race on the label. Yeah. 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 I just don't like the vocal chops very much. This is my biggest problem. They're just really annoying yeah. to me. It's not the kind of issue I have very often, but, uh,. Anyway, that's my that's my opinion on roller coaster. What does anyone is anyone backing me up on the fact that it's actually pretty good, or are you guys like? Eh. I, think I think it's pretty it's, good. Yeah. I think it's okay. Awesome. The, I think the first and third drops are pretty good, and the second drops like eh. So yeah. it kind of it levels out to it's kind of like, I guess it's it's probably my it's better than the only one obviously. Oh like yeah. Remix of it. It's maybe slightly behind my dear and lost. I can't. I couldn't determine out of the two of those. It's which one's pretty up there for it. me in terms of like when I said my dear was my favorite of the week. Um, this is really close behind it. I do like those two mm -hmm. quite a bit. Uh, and this came out today, uh, the day we're recording it. So uh, yeah, definitely gotta listen to it more. But yeah, I do like it quite a bit. I think it's. I, I, oh man, I just wish the trap part of it sounded more like Gorilla Glue, because I actually kind of like Gorilla Glue. Yeah, I love Gorilla Glue. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, didn't didn't you guys, Pete, uh, didn't your like crew, I guess, not like Gorilla Glue, or am I misremembering? <laughs> uh, didn't like what? Gorilla Glue? Uh, no, they the other two thought it was okay. I was the one that didn't like it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, I that's probably what I'm thinking of. Like okay. Okay. So, you guys want to move on to a little bit of news? News. Yeah. Let's get All right. right into we'll start the news. with we'll start with two songs that were premiered on the Monster Cat podcast. The first one we'll start with was out before. It was on the Pegboard Nerds like end of year mix, but uh, they go berserk their uh, their drum step collab with Quiet Disorder. Um, I assume both of you guys heard it. I yeah, actually I was listening to the podcast live, and right before that song started, it lagged out. <laughs> So, I didn't get to hear it. Oh, nice. It. Yeah. No, I haven't heard it. <clears throat> oh, really? Mm. Nope. It's pretty decent. Okay. No, excuse me. Excuse me for a second. Where you guys can talk about something on the wall. Oh. Oh my. God. Uh, we can talk about how. Uh... Oh, I don't like it very much. Because <laughs> to me, it just so it just sounds like more pegboard nerds. They're doing dubstep, drum step. They're doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I definitely gotta take a um. Uh, a listen for sure. When is that EP coming out? Actually, I do. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's quite soon. 
Yeah, it's I'm like sure, Monday uh, it was, or it's, Friday. It says, hang on, I'll check Reddit, because it says on there, as yeah. upcoming releases, and the date it is Friday. confirmed. Yeah, Friday? the 13th, Oh, what, so, yeah. oh, what, the next so, release. Tom, well, for me, tomorrow, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, to, for me, that's tomorrow, the, uh, too, right. technically. Yep, three, three exclusive releases, Speed of Light, Go Berserk, and uh, Talk About It, right? Talk About that's It. The other one. I just yeah. want one of them to be good. To yeah, be so I've really I've listened to two of them, and one of them the future the future based one talking about it was okay, but I I like to go berserk. It just <laughs> it just seems like this EP is uh is supposed to be because their their tour that they've been doing over the course of 2016 mm-hmm. was the Nerds by Nature tour. It just seems like this is most of the stuff we shared. And like played there, put into one EP, which is bad in my opinion. That's not a good yeah. idea because half of the stuff I hear them playing at like at like when I see videos of them doing concerts and whatnot, it sounds terrible. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be honest. A lot of that kind of, a lot of that kind of party dance stuff sounds really, really bad. So I have, mm-hmm. don't have high hopes for it to be honest. Uh, Should we talk about the other song that was premiered on the podcast? Oh now? yes. Oh my oh, yeah. god! Oh, Face so melting. The, the Draper one? That was my favorite. <laughs> the Draper song, right. guys, confirmed. So, yeah, yeah, Mike Darlington, the famous tweet, uh, you know, about the face melting, he also <clears throat> tweeted, Oh, Draper's release is really good, too. No, <laughs> I, was, I don't know. But yeah, no, yeah, Mike Darlington tweeted this Aerochord song was a banger, melted his face off. I can't say I disagree with him after hearing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Holy shit. That is insane. It was hard. Especially especially coming out of the love and hate EP as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think he was just trying really hard to do like the kind of happiest stuff and he just couldn't hold it in any longer? And he'd been, <laughs> he'd been holding it in after doing love and hate for so long. He's like, fuck it, I'm going to go as heavy as I possibly can. Yeah, Dude, he just the did. Voc- the vocal sample over the, that first drop just drives yeah. me nuts in the best way possible. Yeah. I, oh I, li- I like the sections with the vocal chops better than the bits without it, I'd say. Yeah, I yeah that. It's, which is weird because I usually don't like it when like a song incorporates the vocal chop over and over in the drop. Yeah. But in Neither. this case, I think it works. I think, yeah, yeah. That, that second drop that it showed was so good. Like, um, I don't like all the, the kicks second... in the first one, to be honest. Like, it sounds... Yeah. I like how that that it, like it works in until the end, but it doesn't mm-hmm. really work. People all that I liked here, it. But... Gave, I'm not sure whether this feeling. is. Yeah. It was a good I don't way know to whether start this off, is yeah. Jungle Terror or Jersey Club. I'm not. I haven't made my mind up yet. But I have no idea. I don't even Whatever know what is, any I of those like genres are. <laughs> some form of trap. <laughs> yeah. Some for some were very very quick trap, which is good. And, yeah. Sub-genres. But that second drop. That second drop sounded like this, the the trap drop of Psycho, and yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. That's not a problem. Psycho was. Awesome. No, it's not. Yeah. Psycho is so underrated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I don't think underrated even begins to put it into words. Well, it's no. underrated and it's overhated, which is like the classic. <laughs> overhated is a better double. word. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Oh <laughs> Great song. Oh man. That was oh, probably can, that's what. Yeah. Like, Psycho is probably the most hyped I've ever been for a Monster Cat song before. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know you. I know we were talking about it before, like your reasoning for that. Yeah, but... I just heard so many different previews, and I showed right. um, I, John, didn't I show you the uh that yeah mix, the, that mix the thing mix. that had it blended yeah. with another song, which was just yeah like... you can you can show Ethan after the podcast. Yeah. yeah oh that my was god. I should, oh yeah. I should, yeah. So it uh it's resistance and it's confirmed for Monday, I believe, right? Yeah, when Sweet. Was it? I can't wait. I, it's I heard the sixteenth. Uh... Yeah, I, I all right, good, good, good. I heard it was confirmed for. Someone said February. I'm like, what? Oh, Why? No, I don't no, know. Like it's that one. very. Close, yeah, I know. That's exactly soon. what I was thinking. Oh, that's <laughs> I, can't, that long. I can't wait. No. Dude. Yeah, no, it's gonna be great. Oh man. I mean, I imagine considering the length of it, what was played on the podcast is probably pretty much most of the song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you know, something about it, it's just different to talk, like, not talk about to listen to it when it's not got, even though I really, it's really cute, all those, da- <laughs> my to- darling to talk about, I was yeah. gonna melt your face off, that was, uh, he had, he had some little laugh, and that was the most adorable little shot. I, I noticed that world. too. He's, I love that. Dude, and then he turned it up before, uh, the drop in OK, I was like, oh, yeah. that was sick. <laughs> yeah. 
And that was the, the bit where that, that was the that was the bit where he just stops it and he just like there's like door openings. Dan, there. I need a minute. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he yeah. was like, I can hear everything you're saying. Just like, <laughs> yeah. wow, that was beautiful. Yeah. Oh man, that was a... Uh... Yeah, we'll talk more more at length about resistance next week when it actually comes yes. out. But for I now, wish, we're all hyped for it. I wish I could be here to talk about it. With you guys, <laughs> well, but... you'll be able to talk about it with MC reviews. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah very there you true. go. All right. I'm really so... hoping the other guys like it. Neither of them have oh, heard the. the have heard the oh really? really? I feel like Miko will like, like it. I Actually, hope I feel so. like Xavier will. Xavier really likes like really gritty stuff, right? Jake so. had to have heard it too, right? Doing news. I'd imagine, yeah. Well, he probably because he just came out with Monster Cat news tonight, so yeah. he probably has. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's heard, heard it. He's heard it. That's he probably it. has I'm a preview of it. Yeah. So. But um, I'd imagine pretty. I'm just. Probably things pretty I just imagine if there's any reason that those guys aren't gonna like it, it's because of the vocal chop stuff in yeah. those drops. That's what I'm worried mm-hmm. about. That those two are gonna hear the vocal chop stuff and they're gonna think, eh, oh, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, sometimes I don't, but there's something about that. So. Something yeah. about the way that song is so good. But, All right, <laughs> you guys want to talk about some muzzy? Uh, are we gonna talk about that uh, that that sick uh, big room big room house mix that he did? Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the idiot <laughs> mega oh, mix. Super oh, mega mix. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that is one of the funniest things I've ever. I'm, I think really underrated is his uh, his song. Uh, it, it's like a song about mixing or like a song about producing or whatever. It's just talking about how I forget what the name of it. It's like Mixcraft or something. Like Mixcraft, you're a piece of shit, a piece of shit. <laughs> I just want to record some guitar for my drum and bass. My drum and bass. It's really good. I think I but, think uh, another underrated one is uh, Stephen Walking's orchestral suite. Oh my god! Oh I my god. Like that video. April Fool's. That's a Definitely little... rivals very in as far as yeah, the musical yeah. skills. I mean, mixes. considering it's Stephen Walking as well, you'd think. Like, yeah, right. Surely Varian's supposed to be like the master. Surely Varian goes for that. Stuff, but... <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the meme here? I guess. Is that, is yeah. That the thing? Because I've heard you guys say that a lot. Oh, yeah. it seems like your personal yeah, we do. thing. We'll yeah. bring over a bad episode. I've, that's bad my episode. Gift. That, that's that's my gift from uh from this episode has been pretty good though yeah okay. yeah yeah it's pretty so solid that's no no technical shit. problems except for john's that. small bladder that's it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've only pissed twice all right the other time was uh was roommates but yeah uh, that's that's just uh that's just me i guess i don't know <laughs> But all right, so Muzzy, <laughs> so he did a he did a he guessed he guessed mixed a mix over on oh man I'm gonna forget the name of the record label is Black Tiger Sex Machines label um Cannibalin Records and right, he did a guest mix a on there okay yeah yeah it has like Dabin and I want to say Apache's on there. And a couple other people. Oh, cool. but, uh, yeah. If, the, if there's anyway. anyone that I think deserves to be on a big label, like, it's this artist. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's called uh, Miller's Planet. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I've, Planet. yeah. I've never heard of him. Wow. I think he's, uh, he's you know, the Monster Cat News guy? That's his brother. Oh, brother? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Oh, I'm Snails su- is I'm also surprised. on there. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. This yeah. sounds like that label's got a lot of dirty. Oh yeah, yeah. kind of stuff. Well, it's on. Black Tiger Sex Machine, so there you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Oh. But uh, but anyway, so in that mix, it's like 30 minutes of stuff. He had two ID songs, like un- unidentified. Oh, okay. Had, okay, I know. What he you're had VIPs about. of Insignia and Children of Hell, which oh, both sounded excuse dope. Excuse me. And he also premiered his remix of Deep in the Night, the Pegboard Nerds and oh. Snails song, which is Ooh. cool. Now that I guess that makes sense that Snails is on that label. Oh yeah. But uh. Is the second Deep in the Night remix confirmed? Because Dion Timmer had one of the Peg Word Nerds one. Oh. It's the second one to my knowledge. This one's a lot better. <laughs> this one's... It's, it's Muzzy D&B, like, jump up, I guess. And, oh my god, it's so good. So, I can I can link that to you. Peter oh yeah, I was gonna say, it. I haven't heard that. I'd love to. Oh, you haven't heard it either? Mm. Yeah, it's so good. And after Just that, and I don't bad. know if this is... Oh. oh. <laughs> Makes the pain. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this had to do with the mix, but afterwards Black Tiger Sex Machine tweeted Black Tiger Sex Machine X Muzzy and then like the emoji like the 
the guy with his hand on his chin, like, hmm. Oh, the, so yeah. So okay. we may actually be seeing a Muzzy and Black Tiger Sex Machine collab. Huh. Which Muzzy's remixed one of their songs before, but oh my god, that would that would get That'd my hype. That would be like my most anticipated song of the year. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, uh, I wish I heard from... it. Like, I I wish I could actually uh, talk yeah. about it, but. All right, I will link you to it, and we can talk more about it next week. All right, sounds good. So, all right, I hope you guys have heard this song. Uh, this song just came out today. It was on Trap Nation, but uh, Drew Lou released a new song called "In Time." I've and not heard it. I saw that it... when I was looking on the Reddit, but I haven't heard it. All right, both of you guys need to go put it on Spotify. I need you guys' opinion on this one. Okay. It's called Drew Lou In Time, featuring Bell Duran. I think that's how you pronounce that. I just want I want live reactions. I like that album a lot. How did you guys both like Bon Voyage, right? Oh, oh yeah. yes. That was in my <laughs> okay. top something. It was like top fifteen, I think. Okay, yeah. Uh, Twenty sixteen. I hope it's I good because a lot of a lot of Drolo stuff that I've heard off of Monster Cat was pretty mediocre, so Mm. Is it He's Drew got some or Drolo good, some... also? It's, I say it's Drolo. Drolo. It's, it's actually Drolo because it's Dutch, but Drolo does sound kind of better. I do. Like I've gotten the habit of it. I do say Drolo as well. But... Huh. This is pretty alright. I'm 30 seconds in. Oh, nice. Oh, we should have done the stupid thing with the uh, the sync up YouTube thing. Yeah, but oh. this, this would have been. Listening to stuff like this doesn't work too well for viewers and whatnot. We're just gonna be like, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put no it in post that. for sure. Hey, that's I'll definitely have it in post. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Like, <laughs> Ethan just came out of the womb. <laughs> yeah. Kate, have you got to the drop yet? Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm gonna okay. put this I, in I, To be honest, I kind of just skip towards the drop just because I don't want to sit around listening to music too yeah. long on a podcast. Fair enough. I have to find Fair the enough. key to this, dude. I want to. I want to mash it. Dude, it's, it, it's pretty good. I reckon. I reckon it might be even better than Bon Voyage. Ah, uh, not can't no. <laughs> I disagree okay. with that. It's good. I, I, but... I don't know. I'll have to listen to it like more in the future, but it sounded really good to me. But I don't know. I guess I like Drew's style in general. General, it's like a they're like a more chill kind of darker version of San Holo, So I I can't can't go wrong with that for me. But I don't know. I hope we get. I hope their collab is good. And I hope if he releases a monster, or I hope they release a monster guy again at some point soon. So damn. Hello. Oh, <laughs> you guys were being very silent for a second. Yeah. Happy worried. Oh, we're all dead. Yeah. All right. And then the one other actual like song from a Monster Cut artist that came out is Aerocord officially posted his remix of Superstar. Mm. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Wait. I've heard did about you guys, that. Did you guys listen it, to it? I, I meant not. to. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, totally I probably should have. I probably should have told you guys to listen to these songs before. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this one. Yeah. So resistance is a banger. This one's kind of more like his love and hate, and I. I can't say I love it. It's 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 very chill. So maybe maybe Meek will like it. I don't know, but I I'm not a big fan of it personally. No, none of us none of us thought that love and hate was particularly excellent. Yeah. But it doesn't like my favorite two songs on the EP were the two I guess the two heaviest ones, Want You Back and uh Until the and, End. Until the end, yeah. yeah. And my my voice is cracking a lot all of a sudden. I'm a prepubescent male once again. Or I guess just a regular prepubescent. I don't know. But uh Oh, this is like yeah, not what I expected. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. Yes, yeah, so we got a superstar uh, remix and a deep in the night remix. Yeah, and multiple. also in black in the in the what's it called in the Pegboard Nerds mix, there was also a remix of Blackout by Quiet Disorder. So huh. we have that, and that's actually a good uh, a good uh, I guess. Oh man, I'm I'm really bad with vocabulary right now. <laughs> it's a good it's a good transition to segue. Is that the word you? Yeah, segue. Segway, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Into uh, a. A teaser of a remix of Bamf by Riot. That who... sounded great. 
heard yes. that. Yes, I really, really like a Riot does a lot of remixes, and they they have some really good ones on their soundtrack. Um, highly recommend. Have you heard Jazz Cat Funk by Riot? Uh, it's I think awesome. so. Yeah. It's an awesome he, song. He had a. Uh, Right, I think it's a. I think Riot to he uh, had a remix of a Black Tiger Sex Machine song actually. Yeah. Funny enough, and I thought that one was really good. And he had a, oh, that's the one. He had a remix of Battle Sirens, the Knife Party song, and I thought it was so much better than the original. I've like, not heard much Knife Party, but what I have heard is uh, I'm not sure if I'm. I like a lot of Knife Party, but I didn't like Battle Sirens. Is they 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 uh, collabed with Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine. I it sounded weird to me. But Riot, the Riot remix is basically like what I hope it would hope it would Actually, haven't like. heard it. What hmm. the remix or the original? The Riot remix, no. Okay, yeah, it's like the first one on their SoundCloud. It's really good. Oh. To me, just, just having that name just makes me think of Virtual Riot every time. Man. Virtual Riot, oh, yeah. <laughs> every time. Yeah, it's a little weird, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. It's it's dubstep, but it should be good. Um, mm. On to our final two news. With the news that Resistance will be coming out on this Monday, unfortunately means that Trivecta's Shatterpoint, Shatterpoint. will be self-released. Oh, really? Which, yeah, that was... Oh, which I'm was I'm still really excited for it. I'm just sad I can't, like, rank it or anything like that. Oh, I really thought but, it was Monster Cat, no? Yeah, it came out on Amazon and the single art had no Monster Cat or anything. Oh. And it's actually been confirmed since then that it's a self-release. And, uh... I also have another self-release. It's a another collab between World and Savoy, the 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 Chase It vocalists yes. or vocalists. So fun that we we're talking about that earlier. So that's uh, I ought to love that's that. a thing. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for it. World's been World's been on fire recently oh, yeah. for me with uh, with the remix of uh, of Light by Sonola mm -hmm. by yeah, Design. So uh, Galaxies as well was pretty recent. And I really liked that one. That was a. That was did you thing you didn't like Drowning, did you? No, I didn't. Pete? But I've liked almost everything else that he's put out this okay. year. So. I, I was personally one of the love only Drowning. People, like especially from the people in my my crew, as you keep calling it, uh, that like <laughs> the that like the wake the actual song. I like the wake too. People really don't so. like it, but I really liked it because you know Johnny Rose colored right. Yeah. I like, I, yeah. I like it. That was ever. That was like Mika's biggest problem. He hates the vocals. You cannot stand it. Like, you don't like Johnny broke the window. It's really good. No, no, you don't like <laughs> Johnny Rose very much. But um, also the hidden gem being the other one from that EP. What's it called? Discovery. Discovery. That yes. Of that one. That one's really good. I really like that one as well. Oh, is that his like house song? Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's the housey, stuff. electro housey kind of one. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. So world other than drowning has been really like on fire this year for me. And also I guess if you he, you can go into the end of last year too. So mm. that's that ought to be good. Uh, the final bit of news I have is that I I don't have the I this I'm hearing this from secondary sources, but apparently there's like some sort of unbelievable release that should happen in a monster guide at some point soon. Like something to the extent of like Marshmallow or Seven Lions, and a lot of people are thinking that it might be Porter Robinson. Really? I yeah. I'm never excited about massive artists coming. So no, I'm not. I don't, yeah, I don't I care know. for it. I'm usually not either, but I really like Porter Robinson, <clears throat> so that would that would excite me. Well, I do if, like Porter Robinson a lot too, but that's, that's a big if, if yeah. Yeah. Look, the only way you'd ever get me excited for. Uh, for a massive artist being a monster cat if it was someone like Daft Punk and that's never gonna happen. No. So, you know, oh yeah, of course so not. That's no. like literally the I of all the big popular electronic artists, I think that's the only one that would ever possibly excite me. Just because a lot so of I'm not a big fan of popular EDM, like at all. Like, it's all it's it's on and off for me. It depends on some like I really like Dead Mouse for example. Yeah. Oh yeah. But Skrillex is not so good. I just feel like or... quite often with good popular electronic it's more the exception than the rule like, yeah there is good stuff there is good popular stuff out there but it's never like, like it's i almost think dead mouse for example is more popular because of like the whole mouse imagery and then like yeah. the fact that he's kind of a dickhead on twitter <laughs> yeah and his actual music because his music is kind of minimalistic house or yeah. at least it used to be it's kind of changed a bit but, but... um 
What was do, do you guys have you guys heard of um Galantis? Yes. Because yep. they're, they're they're Australia. Another as far as I can tell, I'm pretty sure they're Australian ones as well. But they're really good. They're consistent with all the popular ones I know. They're especially here's a uh, here's a non monster cat fun fact. Do not listen to that. Uh, one one of the uh, one of the members of Galantis is actually also a member of the indie pop uh, or indie pop indie rock I guess band Mike Snow. So, oh, have you I, ever heard any of their songs? Interesting. Yeah. Never heard of they've them. They've got but... one. They've got one awesome song called Genghis Khan. It's I highly re- recommend. But, you know, you know, um, the good one that I have no reservations of liking by them, um, Peanut Butter Jelly. That song's just great, and mm-hmm. I have I don't even feel bad about it. But the what the other one that got really big from uh, from last year, No Money. I don't know why I like that song, but I really yeah. really like it. that's like ultimate guilty pleasure. But that's like. Probably some of the most I've enjoyed popular EDM, but for the most. What part. did you What did you think about Runaway? I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it. Ha- have you heard the Laszlo remix of it? There's a Laszlo remix of something that I haven't oh. heard. <laughs> yeah, go li- go listen to Galantis <laughs> Runaway Laszlo remix. Oh, wow. I will. Well, that'll be it's, that entices me. It's I would say it's probably the most similar to his remix of Champions, but that's not a bad. And, like thing. how is it? It's it's pretty good. I like it. I will go on this. Alright, while you're listening to that, we can talk about channel stuff now. Ah, uh, yeah. Just like kind of plugging what we're going to do for the next week or so. Hey, we are an hour and 45 uh, minutes in. We gotta, yeah, we this, is a lo- this, this is definitely, <laughs> our, definitely our longest podcast. Oh, this is just so, uh, For some reason, I do this where, wherever I go. Whenever there's no geek on the podcast, it ends up being like two and a half hours <laughs> oh, long. Man. And then I you show spread, up here and it's two hours You spread discontent an hour long, <laughs> or an hour and a half long podcast. I just time. talk oh, too yeah. much. I just talk too <laughs> much okay. when I get that's, the chance. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. good and that is what a podcast is. It is supposed yeah. to be talking. Yeah. So I guess I'll start with mine. So this is going up on the 13th. So other than a couple EP stuff, uh... My new series will be coming out on the 15th. I guess it's not super original, but I'll be ranking like the best of a certain genre. So mm. on the 15th, it'll be best 25 house songs on Monster Cat. And uh, other than that, I have... I actually have two mixes going up in the next week. I'm getting into mixing, but I think these are better. Oh, than my, yeah, uh, me too. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna mix one, is, one, is, one is actually a mix of... Monster Cat 001 launch week because Monster Cat never did an official one of that. Oh, okay. The other one is 45 minutes long and has a theme to it, so I hope you, the people enjoy that. <laughs> and other than that, I have one other countdown that shall remain nameless for now. Cool. So. If you ever want any tips or tutorials, man, I got you. What? I said if you ever want any tips or tutorials, I got you. Shout out to I will, I will ask you. when you helped also me with on... me way back in the day. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That, I was, really that was way back in the day. Yeah. Okay, so your so your house <laughs> genre ranking thing is your the first one. It's yeah. Gonna be happening. Okay. Well, I'm going this. I'm right, going in the same well, order that I went with uh, with the producers and houses. The first one I did. So. Well, I I'm curious to see what your uh, what your glitch hop one looks like. Oh yeah. Oh man, I hope curious. I don't disappoint you with that. <laughs> I mean. It's pretty hard to, considering I like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm. Label, so. I'm not sure whether I should split it in, but like tip from Glitch Hop and then also a separate Mimbacore one, or whether I'm just gonna do them both in one. I'll probably yeah. just do them both in one, to be honest. Yeah. So. That's alright. Yep. Uh, all right, so Ethan, you can plug your stuff out. All right. Um. Well, between the last time we aired our podcast or the last episode, I launched the new visualizer for all my mashups which i'm pretty proud of uh i already have three in it since so that's pretty cool um uh i also have another mash confirmed for duality or for duality i should say hey hint hint uh (laughs) (laughs) yeah with that one i'm really really uh i can't wait to let everyone see i guess so yeah that one I'm really hyped about and um, <clears throat> I have also started a, another visualizer for the mixes that I'm doing because I'm bringing those back all my mixes so uh, oh yeah I've been missing those yeah I haven't had those in quite a bit so I think I have I have a track list that I'm going to submit to Owl pretty soon oh, yeah. I don't know when that'll go up on my channel but I have mm. like you know how I did like a more chill like summery kind of one yeah. for you 
It is basically the complete opposite. So. <laughs> I want to um, do that again, where someone submits a bunch of tracks. I think I'm gonna do that for you. I just I'm trying to think of like a theme to it because yeah. I wanna I don't wanna just give you a bunch of songs and just be like do something with this. That's kind of like Matthew. Uh, is like that that's... is that yeah. is that something I could ask to do? Oh yeah, dude. Cause I because I've had I made I made this uh I made I, I could I could attempt to mix it myself, but I feel like someone else like anyone else could do it <laughs> much better to. justice <laughs> than I did. I made it ages ago. Which was just, it wasn't actually a mix, it was just playlist, like a playlist of like oh, 15 okay. songs that I wanted oh, to be okay. in a mix. It starts off like quite heavy and um, quite heavy and like glitch hop electro side of things. Like it starts mm. off with For You and uh, So What. And Which one? <laughs> and uh, the Aerochord. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's got Rocktronic and all that stuff. But in the middle, oh. then it kind of goes into a more like minimal but still not necessarily happy kind of thing like there's a bit of like this messiah and sculpted yeah, by yeah. i was gonna say there. messiah yeah. 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 and then right at the end it goes ultra chill <laughs> like we've got uh waking dreams and then the last Ooh. two is uh yeah. nebula by feed and yes <laughs> yes <laughs> and then and then D- parallax by direct so oh, okay I, if, if if you could if you could do that for me i'd be forever well, thankful. yeah like, <laughs> send me a list i'm sorry if i sound overexcitable i just i'm so yes. glad to meet someone who likes nebula it's just so as as good it's so it's, man i'm i'm right there with i real like as good as sentient was i kind of wish that would have gotten the upload that's great oh, hell so, yeah this breaks too e- yeah, it's oh, like the chill yeah. breaks, right? either of either it's, of the other two from that EP. It's Voyager, chill breaks. Voyage is yeah, Voyager was good too. But dude, I mean, it's chill breaks with like with Solero's like melodies, yeah. like emotional melodies. It's so good. It is okay. I know exactly. It's just like I'm yeah. just as glad. It's to... just. It's just like the ampersand remix that it's like a collab between two artists that it shouldn't work, but it does. Yeah, and it's like perfect. Oh man. Alright, so Pete, what have you got on, on deck for the next week? Uh, I'm, well, Mika's stuff, he's mostly just doing, I, I mean, I think we all know what's coming, he's going through three, he's just doing all Yep, the, all the I know his next one's that. Division, I was talking with him on Skype mm. about that earlier today. Yeah, so, um, but me, I haven't uploaded any of these yet, so, but I'm literally the first thing I'm going to do after I finish up this podcast is upload the video. Uh, Victory mm. EP review. I've oh, already yeah. got two of the videos pre-made. I've already done Victory and Hold Fast, and I'm yet to review Shrooms, which is going to take me a while because I. Well, I'm <laughs> do well. I think I think Sun Hollow did because I'm doing them in order of the tracks oh. from the um okay. from the EP, and that's the last one. So okay, yeah. I wrote like yeah. one thousand five hundred words on the song. I wrote a little too much, but um, oh my God. the first two. The oh, first so you two do a script? Okay. It's. It's like, it's. I used to kind of try and find a balance between scripted and saying things off the cuff, but I've realized right. things just kind of flow better when I when I just read scripted. There's moments. There's always okay. moments where I'll stop looking at the script and I'll just kind of say right, it. Of course. Especially okay. like when I'm talking about the song as a whole, like like during the analysis portion. That's when I'm analyzing, like deeply. That'll mostly be reading what I've noticed off of a script but then at the end when i kind of come and bring all my thoughts together as a whole that's kind of when it's more my opinion it's a lot easier to, you know, to just talk yeah, i'm about. like i guess i'm a smaller version of you where i do like a general guideline for the actual song and then when it comes to the analysis i like never have any notes i just kind of do that really completely out of the <laughs> out of thin air you guys but, um, mentioned so. sorry what but I just wanna. I'm gonna give some. I'm gonna give some hints right here. Even though I haven't uploaded a single video from the uh, from the Victor EP one yet, I think this channel deserves the scoop of what the EP after that's gonna be. Because I just figured oh, that yeah. out today. So I'm excited for this. Exclusive figuring out the next EP. Oh, uh, please be a good one. Please the next be a good EP one. I'm going to be reviewing, which considering something I was talking about before before we started the podcast, is gonna make a lot of sense, to you guys. The next one coming up is the Prelude EP. Oh, okay, which is yeah. one that's, that's a good one. Which is yeah. one that I'm fond of, except I have no idea how I'm going to talk about the piano bits. About the pianos. I have <laughs> no. There's two in it's, that one as well. Because yeah. yep. the re- cause the the what's it called the rebirth one is that the one that comes after the one that comes like around twenty. The other EP. Yeah, yeah. That one had if one I, piano song. This one has two. So. Yeah, I think this one's probably slightly worse than the other one, but this one has. One of my favorite Monster Cat songs of all time, so I can't be. What canvas? Canvas? 
Yeah, it's oh yeah, Canvas is awesome. So the journey is aw- the so journey much. is awesome as well. The journey is also Ooh. really good. Yeah. Yeah, and then what's the other one called? Elemental. Yeah, Elemental. That it's one like just that one's song. not as good, but that's still. I can't still remember really what good. that sounds like. But yeah, it's an it's of all the yeah. EPs <clears throat> because I feel like I've been a fan like of my years of being a fan of Monster Cat, and like there's still been things that I haven't heard very often. Just because there's mm-hmm. so much stuff. The Prelude EP was one of the last things that I ever oh, yeah. didn't know very well oh, and yeah. came to know. Because I feel like by this point, I know most of everything on the label. Mm. I've listened to it for so long and I listen to it so often. Well, I'll I brag about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not what? trying to brag, I'm just talking about I how know, much I, I know, like I it. Know. I just like I it. Know. I can so... brag about how long I've been a fan, but I won't. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. I, I just I just kind of feel like there's nothing new to discover, which is almost a bad thing because I loved I loved when I first got yeah. into. I wish I could go back to when I didn't know well. stuff very well and could just discover Dude, I agree. Yeah. all over again. But this was one of the last things that I discovered, and like because I well, always thought it was. Hey, you get to <laughs> you get to now discover the Lazlo makes of Runaway, <laughs> oh, yeah. <That's laughs> which awesome. was very good. I did like that. Which, you know, it's oh, you a, did? It's oh, okay, a, you already did listen to it. It's a Laszlo song. What a surprise. I like it. Yeah. Who could have possibly thought? But, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's... I have no idea what I'm going to do with the piano tracks. I'm going to have to come up with something. I might just kind of chuck them in both into one extra video or something like that. Because I, I'm not making a whole video just for those. That seems completely <laughs> yeah. nonsensical for an EDM review video to be uh to have a whole video devoted to just one of the piano tracks so i'm gonna have to figure something out but uh that's what's coming up after this so keep your eyes and ears that's All my right. that's my oh, show yeah. plug with a little exclusive look monster cat exclusive, <laughs> <laughs> exclusive nice look. nice so uh that's you get that. the monster cat document on this one <laughs> <laughs> oh man well this ended up running for two hours, oh, so yeah. I. Oh, think oh wait, 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 I said I had what? something oh, to talk about. Child, yeah, yes. exactly. I had something I wanted to talk about oh, what? for a while, which is t- about Tut Tut Child. Because I feel like I want to talk about a couple tracks that I feel like are underrated more than anything else. I don't feel like okay. people don't give enough attention. Because I feel like he's gone through the motion this phase. He kind of had his glitch hoppy, like super glitch hoppy and heavy phase at the start. But then yeah. as things go on, he's come more towards the come to the end than stuff is kind of where we found right. it. I feel and well, but he's had I, all I know of Ethan has some pretty yeah yeah. yeah. I um, liked all of all of it's stuff. great. Like Tata Child's made very few bad songs, but I feel like the two songs yeah. that I have seen that I hear almost nobody talking about, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on, are the two from Seventeen, which is Drink Up and Power. Oh Fracture. yeah, Power Fracture especially. I never hear oh. anyone talk about that song. It's like the style, only, dude. It's the only style. full dope, dope style. style song on the yeah. on the label. It's I know there's a bit in. Is that is that what the genre is? is? Yeah. Oh, I've it's, it's basically dubstep, I, but with, without the step. It's yeah. just like. It's just like full on. Yeah, because I really like. I've uh, wanted to know what genre that is for so long. Oh, it, it just yeah. sounded like hard style, it's like or hard dance. Mix without, between yeah, without the gross sound. Yeah. Oh, that's basically what it, it's basically what it is, and then a dubstep tempo. Yeah. But that song is... I just love... I, I always love songs that are just unapologetically and relentlessly heavy in a good way like that song is. Some mm-hmm. songs are yeah. a bit, like, they do it in a way I don't like, like, you know, Panic and whatnot. But songs like that... Or that are anything just so Obsidian funny. made, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But anything... I, only like, I, I say that, I liked a couple of your songs. Yeah, so one, you guys like one. Power Fracture? Yeah, Hell I like yeah, it. Good. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and the other one. Drink up. Drink up. <gasps> Drink up referenced freaking. Uh, oh god, Little now I Shop forget the horrors. name of this. Yeah, Little Shop of Horrors. You, you can't hate that. <laughs> yeah. Also, I liked. I liked how it's. It. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Toothless Hawkins for some reason. Oh, oh the, the the bits um, at the start at the end. Yeah, um, for sure. Let me remind yeah. you. Yeah. Let me, John, let me link you something. Hold on. Let me. Ghost uh, produced by Varian. No, there's that. Toothless oh, Hawkins. Come on. Oh, that's probably you know what? Why. That makes sense. That's probably why. <laughs> they're in the same <laughs> key. Know. They're in the same key, and they're both glitching. They're in the same key, and they both have very much like a like a reference to like the fifties and the twenties, yeah. like old decades. Yeah. Oh, this is oh, cool. Man. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Shout out to my boy Owl. 
But uh, just Last genuinely, because I, I I bring that all up because I hear like everybody <laughs> talk about yeah. talk about those songs ever, and I I really like both of them, and it feels you know like what? it feels Fucking like it's stuck in this that. weird transitory phase between. Like this was this was like the last couple of things that um that Tata Child did in his really heavy style before he started to kind of turn things more towards the lighter style because after that it was the um yeah it was the ask your friends first ask your stuff, friends yeah which, which had hot pursuit which was kind of heavy that uh, was like Pursuit's yeah awesome. but that but that one was yeah it's a great song but that one was like the exception not the rule because there was stuff That's like a good point. there was stuff like what's the one with Three. Augustus Ghost on that one. Oh. It's absolutely oh, birds, birds on the That yeah. song is absolutely incredible, but still, you see what I'm saying? It's kind of like when he started to move away from the really, from the really heavy stuff, and those yeah. two songs kind of feel like they're caught in this weird phase where it's not very committed to either side, to the point where I feel like people just forget about it. They forget about those songs' existence. That and Eye of the Storm. I feel like people forget about that song all the time. Eye of the Storm was well. okay. I, 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 I didn't song. love it, but. It's, Mate, that, it's cool. that second drop. I like the second that drop second of a, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good point. Yeah, you, like, move the drop. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Huh. But there we go. That's unrecognized Tuck Tuck Shot. That's what I was I now realize that I... I recognize I thought I, of them. Don't mm, worry. <laughs> I thought I had drink up in my top 100. I may have had it in, like, a draft of it. But it was really close either way. So that... Uh, that one got love from that me. That one's don't worry. fucking awesome, man. I love drink up. Yeah. yeah. Cool. The second drop is special, right? Yeah. So cool. mm -hmm. Let me see how right I am about this, because I always look at Spotify listens to see how much if I'm actually right with them. Being oh, John, that's so that funny how you said it reminds you of Toothless Hawkins. I was literally typing in I, like that. Oh, yeah. that's probably what I was thinking of, to be honest, and that's why. It, yeah. Why All right. So both of these songs have around five hundred thousand listens, which comparing mm -hmm. to songs like Surface, which have twenty nine million. <laughs> and Hero, which has 10 million, and Frame of Mind, yeah. which has 15 million. I feel like Jeez. as far as uh, as far as a lot of this stuff goes, it's definitely quite under the radar. I, also, I also, like... ding 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 ding, I want to bring Monster Cat fun fact number two, which is something <laughs> I heard a while ago, which I'm pretty sure, <laughs> considering how popular Alone is, doesn't quite count anymore. But as a whole album, 17 has, b between each song, has the most combined biggest percentage of the channel views like as a whole really because it's I got, guess 18 because 18 was the first one with everyone over a million but yeah well it's funny because that that is true everyone over a million but that's only 30 million and surface, 17 is surface. And, and surface has 29 and so even just and even, too, even just really surface high. makes it equal makes it equal that's with all of 18 because there's here oh, and it had a hero too yeah hero has Shit. 10 million Frame of Mind Damn. has 15 million, and yeah. even songs like Follow You and One have like around 2 or 3 million. Cheat Code, Wait, Cheat Code is 8 million. You yes. Said, uh, yes. Every song on 18 um, has over a million? That is true. Yeah. Every, every single. Every single well, I, I forget what was the last one. I want to say it was Jeez. Shark City. Yeah, and that's Shark... such a shame because that song's so good. How is that the last yeah. one to get over a million? That song is so huh. cool. Hmm. That's a song that I always forget about how cool it is. But it is cool. 18, yeah. 18 when it first came out, I thought it was really bad, honestly. Which I've completely turned around on now. But I'm pretty much the, the impression yeah. I got from 18 was a lot of house that I don't like very much. <laughs> yeah. The biggest two examples of that, 18. Champions, Bad Ooh. House, Not Very Good, and This Is Forever, which I cannot stand. Oh, yeah. That song is like... The, the, that song's Pretty vocals generic, is like yeah. the definition of generic, like Dominic and yeah. vocals on top of a mm -hmm. generic yeah. house song. But it actually has some good house on there. Like I didn't like Broken Bones at the start as well. That was another thing that added yeah. to the bad house. But it also has Shake It Off, which you know is just such an awesome song. Yeah. But um, oh yeah. <clears throat> also, I remember a song I used to really like, and I've realized these days isn't that good. I don't think Skybreak hmm. is that good anymore. Oh, I, I never liked it that still, much. It's okay. I, it, when I first heard it in Renzo Kick, and I thought Renzo Kick was so better. Good. I mean, I have turned what, around on that. Whenever I think of, whenever I think of Skybreaker, I just think of this one video on a uh, on Mika's, not the MC Reviews channel, of course, but on his old <laughs> personal YouTube channel, which was uh, mm -hmm. when Destiny came out. He, he was playing with his friend, and he made this video called 
how to kill a boss like a boss in Destiny, oh, yeah? which was pretty much the video was just where one of them used their ultimate ability to kill a boss, and it like looked really cool and stuff. And he had Skybreaker on top of it, but the audio quality of the song, for whatever reason, was so terrible and distorted. Was it, it like was just a really Matthew bad. Gaming audio type? Yeah, uh... I, I should. <laughs> I should My boy. find this goddamn video because it's quite oh. something. But um. But also, the ironic thing about that video is, you know how I was just talking about how I was using the ultimate ability to kill the boss and how that was supposed to look cool and stuff? Mm -hmm. He looked back at the video, like, a year or two later, and it actually missed. He never even realized oh, really? that the thing actually missed. It's this video that's supposed to look super cool oh. and epic, but if you pay attention, it actually missed completely and we found oh, this out wow. at one of his birthday parties when everyone was over and it was whole, and they oh, were God. so mad they were so mad about oh it. what a way to ruin your birthday <laughs> 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 but, but anyway the derailing aside yeah I, you were trying to end this podcast yeah. and then I we are now extended over it, two right? hours yeah. thanks pete <laughs> Hey, watch time, but, uh, baby. Get that, get that watch time <laughs> ad revenue. Ad revenue. <laughs> ad revenue, yeah. yeah. Oh man, good luck, Ethan, trying to find a bunch of songs to put in the background. <laughs> we talked about just a loop. lot. Of songs oh, do you have, do you have background just loop all music? Of... Yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, okay. You just should, lo just loop, loop alone. I'll just. No. Okay. No, I was gonna say. I was gonna say loop all of Project Forty Six old house songs that are all eight minutes. All long. of the. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just Limit, Limitless, Crazy, Deadline, Moab. Oh, <laughs> it's just Lord. all in a row. How about you throw in a few Helberg songs like Farewell. This and is. Shit. <laughs> this. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Alright. Um. Anybody have anything else to say? I almost feel a little paranoid uh, saying that. But... No. <laughs> no. Okay. Please. Okay. No. Yeah. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Pete and Ethan, and this is I, John, signing off. Bad episode. That was Great such a episode. shitty outro. What the fuck am I doing? It's okay. <laughs>